Um, hello, hello, hello. So, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Nice, uh, nice to, to have you, uh, here today. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, feel free to just, just filter in. Have a, you know, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming today. So, um, yeah, so today, today, once again, I am streaming with Corbett. So, yeah, um, we're doing more of that game we were doing the other day, the, the Teutons and Livonian Order game. So, yeah, no, um, we will be, we will be doing that. Uh, it's gonna be a lovely, lovely time, and hopefully we don't die to the Muscovites. That may happen. Uh, ideally it won't, but I can't be too hopeful because it did not go, uh, I don't know, it went okay last time. Um, but yeah. And what else? Oh, um, I think I have a date, actually. A set date for, um, my 2.0 model. So, um, please, please join us on the 1st of April. Where I will be doing it. It'll be a normal stream, but it'll also be my model debut um, for the 2.0 model. So please feel free to come on by when I am doing that. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. So yeah, and then I think that's basically it. Um, I'm just gonna jump right on into the right on into the gaming screen. Yeah, new model hype. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so fun. So I'm just going to go over here. All right. Uh, let me just message Corbett. Hello? No, I'm chilling. Hey. Oh, okay. Hello. So, let's do Hello. a quick audio check. Um, is, so, on my stream, uh, can people hear, can people hear Corbett? Hello. Yes, hello. Hi. And now we wait a minute because of the chat delay, because... I don't even know. I don't have any chat delay, like, set. It just does that. It's really yeah, weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure on YouTube you have to, like, manually change it to, like, the lowest delay. Yeah. No, that's... It's, it's probably it's that, setting. yeah. Nah. Yeah, I, I used to stream on YouTube at one point, and I had to change that, mm. so... I'll keep... I'll, I'll check that out sometime. That's really weird. But yeah. yeah, all right. Okay, we're hearing. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Seems, uh, seems like it's... My chat. my chat can hear Saffron, right? Yes. Oh, he's a little Hopefully. quiet. I will... He has turned up all the way. I will turn oh, him up no. even more. Oh, it's because... Ah, I, I turned you down in Discord. All right. Is this better then? Uh, hello? Is this good? Hello, guys? Yes? Hello, guys? <laughs> And now we wait. We'll wait minute. another 30 seconds, yeah. <laughs> You're saying a nice early lady egg stream. I ask, I ask Chad if they can hear you when the first guy pops in and says, why is your mic quality so good? Thank you, but like that's not... <laughs> that's not particularly helpful right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you sent me the mic, like uh, the, the Amazon for the mic you use. That seems like yeah. a really good mic. It's like, I, I, I yeah, <laughs> no, I get why. It, it's I I take pride in my mic quality. Mm. I really like my mic quality. I'm really into audio. Nice, yeah. It's not peaking or anything because on my OBS it does show it peaking, but that's I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's fine. OBS, what uh, is going on? Hopefully it's not peaking. That is really bad. Let me watch the stream. Well, let me mute myself quickly. It's really bad. No, it's fine. Okay. Well, that's weird. I think it's just OBS being a little strange. Uh, okay, let's hope oh, I think, so. I think mine is peaking. I can turn myself down, actually. Oh, yeah. No, I am definitely peaking. Let me oh. turn myself down a little. Ah, okay. There. That should be better. Okay. Yay! Yeah, all I right. need to figure out all my mic settings. I'm getting on a, a boom arm, so after I do that, I'll have to, like, redo everything. But yeah, so, mm -hmm. um, we are, we are doing this thing that we were doing last time. 
Um, the so Holy that's... Order Crusade against uh, the, the fellow Christians, because that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like, what, the Fourth Crusade again? You know. <laughs> Don't worry fine. about that one. That yeah, one, yeah. No, that's, mm. that's, it's, it's all right. We, we, you know, the Fourth Crusade was the best crusade. It was a wonderful time all around. Just for everybody involved. Oh, yes. I remember. Okay, yeah, so I was at war with Denmark. Mm-hmm. All right, my economy sucked. I remember that. Uh, yeah, I have two mine loans. Too. Mine too. What am I doing? Why? Am, oh, it's Bohemia. I'm I'm doing Bohemia stuff. All right. But I don't yeah. actually remember what I was doing. Uh... I have yeah, no, no clue. <laughs> <laughs> like I just raised my army for something, but I don't remember what. I think I was gonna take land back. Joy, that makes sense. Joy, my streamer friend, just said, this guy sounds depressed. <laughs> oh, God, please. Oh, Joy, no! Oh, my God, bro. I've gotten, I've gotten so many different comments. that That's not one of them. That's Actually, a, I think I have gotten that one before. This guy sounds, like, sad boy. and like, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Ah, okay. All right. All right, are you ready to start or? Oh yeah, absolutely. Cool, let's go. Let me actually state some of GTA. This guy sounds depressed, okay. <laughs> that All is, right. yeah. Oh, no crossing penalty, no! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. I'm j sorry, jo Joy. I didn't mean to mispronounce your name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I am. I am very happy though that I'm able to stream every day uh, for now, at least, because I I hate having to do like I don't know off days so often, especially last week. Yeah, last week I only streamed like twice. That's because... how often I usually stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you do, you do, like, other videos. You do, like, normal videos. I, I don't do that. Yeah, that's true. That's uh -oh. fair. My headphones appear to be dying, but that's alright. We, the show must go on. <laughs> uh, wait, I thought you said they had 40% left. Yeah. I did. Okay. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> no, that was, that was real, yeah. They just, um, apparently suck. <laughs> that's fun. I, I think it'll, it'll probably be fine and i have other ones so okay it, it, will, it will be all right but yeah and then i think i've, I've told you this but um my <laughs> my chat has decided to bully me for the egg oh yeah uh, they made that into a solid a, in meme yep they made an emote out of it they like it's beautiful i i am waiting on the egg fan art <laughs> good job chat keep going yeah no it was it was so it was so silly yesterday they were just like just absolutely brutal it was it was great um but yeah no i i agree like i think you said like it'll be a channel meme for the next three years i think so yeah. i think that's probably accurate what the oh my god there's like a pretty big Lithu i think there's a bigger lithuanian pretender army than poland or lithuania's armies What? Lithuania might oh, break free. Oh, yeah, I see. They might break free, actually. That would be cool. Oh, and my capital's under siege. That is a lot of Norwegians. Oh, yeah. main, mainly Danes, never mind. Yeah, they're just pretending to be Norwegians. As most Norwegians are. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just Danes in disguise. Could I possibly call you into the war? Uh, I am broke and have no manpower, but I mean, you could give it a shot, maybe. I could, like, scare them Yay. off. Sure. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't take the, uh, the agenda where I need to build up manpower, because that would have been embarrassing to lose that immediately. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, wait, where did my ships go? I'm afraid they just killed them. Oh, never mind. We're cool. We're cool. Why are there bogomolists? Why? What is this? Bosnia? 
Alright. Yeah. No, they're just they're just sitting there, but I already have twenty two percent war score, so that's that's going pretty alright. I don't think there'll be too many problems with uh with this war at least. But yeah. And then oh actually next week I have I have plans to play other uh things. I'm gonna try I I saw you trying out CK3 and it looked pretty fun. So I'm gonna I got CK3 because of the sale and I'm gonna try that out next week. Yeah, CK3 is a lot of fun. Yeah, I just never played it. Um I didn't really get into CK2 either. Oh! <gasps> the rebels are fighting the Norwegians! <laughs> that might be a good they, opportunity to go in, actually. They, like, have their army. Oh my god. You outnumber them now. Uh, I do. I'm hoping to get the Bohemians on my side, but I don't think they're going to do that. Okay, that is that is beautiful. That is truly beautiful. Uh, what tech do they have? Five, five, four. Ooh, tech four from the Danes. Nice. Yeah, they're not doing too well. Where's the music? Uh, is there not music? There should be. Did I not do it right? Apparently not. Oh, I didn't loop it. That's where. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a clean stack wipe. Oof. Beautiful. Oh, I have been... I see. Never what mind. They're ghost fighting. Oh, uh, I have, they got stack wiped anyway. I don't know what just happened. I'm just going to pretend that, that was on purpose. You know, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Okay, well, this music is being a little weird. But it should be all right. Alright, now I really have no manpower. <laughs> I used the last of it in that stack wipe. Well, I mean, they're already on low, and... Oh, are you kidding? Muscovy is occupying the things I was trying to get. Are you kidding? That is an AI moment. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> God damn it, Muscovy. It's alright, I can still get a bunch of money for this. Let me plug in my other headphones because these ones are about to die. That forty percent was not was not no, carrying much wasn't. weight, huh? No, it wasn't <laughs> real apparently. All right. Okay, I have the other headphones in now. Someone in chat what says the? that they did the uh, the Diplo path for oh God, the yeah, Teutons and said it was boring as hell. Oh yeah, I forgot I can like loot Denmark. I should do that. Hmm. Okay. Wait, when did when did you see Chamborg? A while ago, actually. Oh, gotcha. What what idea should I go for first? I'm thinking quantity, just to like get some manpower. Uh, you can if you want to, sure. I mean, I'm not... I I'm going to do that. Just because I... Yeah. Because Muscovy is going to be a problem otherwise. Yeah. Oh my god, Lithuanians are losing to their... I think Lithuania is going to be independent, which will be a really great opportunity for us. Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they have a lot of liberty desire, so even if they don't end up mm -hmm. using the rebels for independence... Yeah. Woohoo! We believe in a free, uh, giant... But like shrunk Lithuania. But you yeah, know that could be a good uh that could be a good avenue of expansion. Yeah, it's no. a really good avenue for expansion. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the provinces I actually declared for because Muscovy is going to take them. Yeah. And that means I'm next. Uh, not necessarily. If they think that you're too much of a problem to deal with because like you're allied to me in bohemia yeah then they yeah. might go after the, the hordes instead does lithuania even have any lithuanian culture land let's find out they have two provinces <laughs> least lithuania Lith least lithuanian lithuania yeah i'm about to take um 
holding. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna piece here, get some money and stuff. Okay. I mean, uh, we could get more, couldn't we? I don't know, because we'd have to get, um, we'd have to get onto, like, Ceyland, and I don't think we can reach there. Well, just, like, the, the four provinces in oh, yeah. mainland Denmark still, Yeah, right? yeah, we could do that. I can probably wipe this Norwegian stack. I'll Unless they're leaving to the sea. To oh, never mind. Alright. Can't use the option of return cores? That's with allies. I can't return... Wait. That might work. No, I can't. Uh, yeah, because they're occupied by someone else, so I don't think you can yeah. return core on that. Yeah, unfortunately. That sucks. Oh, well. Alright. Okay, now might be a good time before they siege my stuff. <laughs> yeah, alright. I'll just wait for you to get that. There we go. Okay. So now I will do a piece. Um, I'm just going to do every... Like, I'm going to do the individual pieces, because I think we can get that. Steer trade, transfer trade. Cool. Give me money. Cool. Ooh, money. I do like money. Yeah, I think that's really the, the benefit of this war is going to just be that. Uh, oh, I have to wait a day. And now... No. I'm worried I won't have enough war score with Verdun out because they have like a fort, so... I think I'm just gonna do this one. It's only like 35 ducats too, so I'm just gonna... Ooh, that's a nice bit of money. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they won't give it with war reps. That sucks. Oh well, it's still a nice bit of money, even if it's slightly less. Okay. I think taking the war reps might be better, because uh, yeah. if you take just money, it'll be also given to me as well, so... Yeah, no, I, I agree. Alright. Oh, I just got raided and it gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. <laughs> so my raid sound is the war declaration sound. Oh my god! <laughs> and so... <laughs> so oh, Lambert just terrifying. raided me. That's yeah. That's absolutely terrifying. I can't imagine that. It Hello. wakes me up. <laughs> Hello, people raiding Corbett. Hi, <laughs> Lambert and crew. Thank you very much for oh, stopping Lambert. by. I appreciate the raid. I've, I've been I've been watching some of the VODs for the, the Ambidon multiplayer. It looks really mm -hmm. interesting. I'm, I'm tempted to try it. Ambinar multiplayer blows my mind, because I can play regular Ambinar, but I am nowhere near enough that far. Oh yeah, no, it's... To, like, play multiplayer in Ambinar. It seems really cool, though. Then... Yeah, it has a lot of really cool stuff, like yeah. the... I watched... I watched, um... Well, actually, I don't know if that clip's out. Lambert was a clip I'm talking about, because he, he sent it to, to the Discord, but... Mm. You know, the... Yeah. yeah Instant yeah. sieges, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think I... I don't know. But yeah, no, it's... it's uh, It looks like a really cool mod. I, I kind of want to get into those kinds of, like, mods, because Ambinar in particular seemed, like, super detailed and well done and everything. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like most most new formats I kind of stay away from just because, I don't know, I feel like there's so much content in the base game. But it's like, with with Ambinar, I feel like it's even just as much. Ambinar has a larger mission tree mile than uh, base game with DLCs. Whoa, okay, that's impressive. The Lithuanians yeah, are they, losing they go the crazy. again. <laughs> that's good. Jesus. As soon oh as God. they're independent. Oh, they're independent. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> okay, can I'm going to eat up Poland. Them? We have a truce with them for another year, and then we can do it. Yeah, I'm going to be devouring Poland as they soon as possible. Me. All right. Let's go, then. Oh, I have to stop those guys in Städten. Once you have 4,000 hours in base game, you've kind of explored the real world already. That's what Lambert said, and yeah, he's kind of right. I have 5,000 hours in the game, so... Mm. He, he's right on that one. I don't Although, that some of the yet. new stuff I haven't played. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I haven't played too much, I would say. Um, I only have, like, a thousand... I think I'm actually just coming up on a thousand hours. I'm not really sure, though, because it's now split between the two accounts. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I've got, I've got this one, and then I've got my normal one because that way i can get like i think i said this in like my first video but that way i can re-get all the achievements oh yeah 
Which yeah. sounds awful, by the way. I mean, good luck with that. <laughs> I didn't have any of like the too too difficult achievements. I don't know. Maybe I could make it like a, a like a long term goal of like getting as many achievements as possible. But there's some I don't think I'll ever be able to get just because I I don't think I can play at that kind of level, like um True of Timmer and that kind of stuff. But still, a lot of them could be fun. How about three mountains? No, <laughs> I don't no? think so. I think maybe if I figured out like the, because I know there are like really cheesy strats with that. Well, I wouldn't call them cheesy. They're they're just they're really good strats. They're just uh you know unconventional kind of strats. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Unconventional. Like, well, the one I used was uh, I converted to Mayan so that I could reform into a horde off of a step horde in Manchuria. Huh. And then, you know, as a horde, of course, you get infinite power points, so. Well, that's unique. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was really good. I have to say that was one of my finest moments. But if you ever do plan on doing three mountains, like, that's the one you should do, probably. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's, I saw, I know I saw a spiffing Brit video, like, a while ago, where he was, like, I think, I think it was him, where he did, um, I know it might not have been him, I forget who it was, but there was a, the, the daimyo strategy, where they just can't mm -hmm. declare war on you, I think that's fixed now, but it was really funny. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I got the thing, so now I am, like, committed to uh being a a crusader state that's good um oh apparently ambinar's like lead dev was in the warcraft 3 modding community which yeah that makes sense that makes a lot of sense yeah oh my god these these war reps are really like doing it for me that's so nice I'm how's that economy looking the economy is 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 still in shambles, but slightly less. Ooh. Those are some good war reps, though. Three, five, one, error. That's all right. It's pretty good. All right. Oh, yeah, then... we can declare uh, next month. Mm -hmm. Okay, I still have like no manpower. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, but that's that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna turn on my manpower edicts. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm down horrendous for manpower. There's the truce. Let's see. I'll I'll do that as well, actually. I always forget that the edicts exist, honestly. I love using edicts. They're really good, it's just I always forget about them. Mm-hmm. Like when I did when I discovered like Alright. Shall we declare? When I discovered well, Yeah, we absolutely. It too. Yeah, if we want to go for Lithuania first to give you a bit of land, and then we can mm -hmm. go after Poland. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I don't have any diplomats. Give me a minute. All right. I'm just going to give it a month to get my morale back up. Yeah. All right. And then... Oh, and then the new update is coming out soon. I don't think they haven't announced it yet, I believe, but like, you no, know. they haven't. But you know, yeah. whenever they like say the name and stuff, it's only like what a month most before they actually release it. So yeah, it it's probably soon. less than a month because right yeah. now they went over the free stuff, and then I think they're gonna yeah. go over the achievements, then maybe the patch notes, and then release it. Yeah, so probably like what, like two maybe more weeks at the most? So that'll be very mm -hmm. fun. That'll be like a great way to, you know, start April. What uh, what oh, country yeah. are you, I guess, most excited to play as? That's a good question. Uh, Probably, probably Japan. I think that's the one that mm. caught my interest the most. Yeah, that one's interesting. They have like, especially the Christian stuff. I'm very mm -hmm, curious. That's what I was thinking. I'm very curious how that will blend with the Pirate Republic uh, daimyo. That's like kind of my thing I want to try out. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I think they have the ability to do like, um, like Crusader State things or something. Like yeah. they have a weird Japan Crusader State mission reform they can do. Yeah. So I'm wondering like if I could, I guess do, oh, wait, let me... 
I can't make my Riga march, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, no, I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering, like, if you can do the, like, if it works. Because I, I don't think currently Japan makes you, like, a monarchy when you get the, like, form this country. Because, like, I know Russia used to. I know some of them do. But I don't think Japan mm -hmm. does. So maybe you can stay a pirate republic as Japan's. Uh, possibly. I mean, it depends on if they decided to change the the forming outcome uh like in the new update mm. yeah it could be we'll, we'll really have to just like see i think i but imagine it's yeah. probably going to keep the government form though mm -hmm. yeah then it be uh, fun, yeah they're adding uh oh they're adding voc india men i believe for um the uh for, for the dutch which sucks because i'm doing a dutch game right now and so I'm not going to get that, but it was fine. Mm -hmm. I remember being in the middle of uh, of a Dutch game when they released, I think it was like 1.28 or something. Mm, yeah. Oh. And it just messes up your run entirely. Yeah. Oh, Joy, that, that sounds like a good idea. Sorry, yeah, I just... Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of weird, though, like doing collabs, and I'm still not totally used to the sort of like balancing between talking with the other person and talking with chat and that kind of thing but it's a yeah you know. i think i've sort of uh gained that skill over time like really slowly because yeah. the more i play this game the more i can just like do things as background processes and then just yeah. like talk about anything so no, i've been i've been doing that but only really with history i think because mm -hmm. that's kind of the thing i can just talk about like you know mindlessly Mm -hmm. Just because I kind of know it off the top of my head. That's fair. Yeah. All right. So let me see. What is this? Conquer. So conquered Lithuania. I need that, and then that gives me what claims on Ruthenia. Do I need to own Corit? Religion is Catholic. I don't think I need to own Corit. I just need to own it. All right. But I can't oh yeah, do where's that. the uh, where's where's the uh, borderline gonna be drawn? Um, I mean, I think we could do it based on like regions. I have to get my, I have to get my map modes properly set up eventually because I've I've just been not doing that. Here it is. Mm -hmm. I think we could draw it at like the boundary of like Ruthenia and Poland. Let's see. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, All I'm right. gonna be playing mainly tall anyway, so. Mm, yeah. No, I'm... I'm I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna need the land. Yeah. yeah, probably. And Kiev goes into... Actually, both Krakow and Novgorod. That's awkward. Uh, mm. <laughs> let's not worry about that. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate the trade system here. It's it's not fun. Especially, the, the biggest, my biggest gripe, I think, with the trade system is that you can't, like, in the, specifically in the Southern Hemisphere, there's no way to direct it back. So, yeah. Because, like, you know, in, in some areas, it's like you can kind of turn it around a little bit, but in, like, the East and the South, you just, there's no way to get it. Which also means, mm -hmm. like, colonizing North America is, or South America, too, is just completely useless because the trade won't flow to you. Also, I think we're ready to oh. peace out, probably. Yeah. All right, let's see what I can take. Yeah, that's my main problem with the trade system, is the existence of end nodes and starter nodes. I'm going to try and get Kiev so that I can, like, release them. All right, I think that's a pretty good peace deal. Any coalition? Just Poland and Lithuania. Nothing much. <laughs> they're not they're not much of a threat, you know. It's it'll be fine. True. Alright. I think that's good. That's my peace deal, and then I will just go and first I'm gonna actually make um Riga into a march. Cause I don't want them to be getting any ideas. Designate march. And then I will release Kiev. Woohoo. And then I'll just core the rest, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And now I have some money and another fort, which I really don't need, but, you know, forts are cool. 
Okay, I think... What is Muscovy doing? I'm going to declare on Poland now, then. That's a good idea, yeah. They don't have anything in my area, so I don't really care. Alright, I have to get a diplomat. People in my chat are talking about tax meta. I thought the meta was production. <laughs> the tax meta. What is going on That's here? Just... The tax meta is a meme. There's no tax meta. Okay, I was going to say, like... Doesn't that... Isn't that a horrible idea? <laughs> it is a horrible idea. Yeah. Okay, so there is like you can do tax meta. I don't remember who. I think it's Savoy can do tax meta because mm. Savoy has like missions to give you like fifty percent more tax for like oh, thirty that's... years or something. I should try that. I, I kind of want to try that now. I want to do like a tall Italy tax meta game. It only but, works for a few years though, which is unfortunate. But yeah, yeah, it's a really good meme. That is that is hilarious. All right, manpower, quantity ideas. We love that. Let's see. I will occupy the one province that uh, I have any interest in, and then I'll go and take Warsaw. Oh man, okay. you have Austria in this? Yeah, I figured I should bring them in because I, what you know, the? haven't asked them for anything else so far. I mean, that's nice, yeah. And they don't want anything, so, you know, just easy. Yeah, yeah. So clean up Saxony Bohemia. for me. It's better than Bohemia, mm -hmm. too, because, like, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hungary wanted in, but also, like, I don't want Hungary to join, so... Sammy's independent? Oh. Okay. Also, uh, do you want knowledge sharing here? Yes, that would be, uh, that'd be really good, actually. Cool. Um, Sammy is independent. And Muscat is... That's... That's unusual. Big. Okay, then. That's a little uncomfortable. Sure. Why not? <laughs> But yeah. Oh, I, I think Hungary's gonna team. try and join. Hold on. Uh, I really don't want Hungary to hop into this war. We need to start occupying things. Oh, are they gonna join? Yeah, they're 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 uh, you know they've built up their maintenance on the border, so they're probably mm. going to attack Poland. And that is yeah, no bueno. That would suck. That would really suck. But you know. Actually, what is my what is my dev currently? Ooh, yeah, no, that was that was a big war that basically doubled my size. Poland may be partitioned. Yeah. I just got the weirdest sub message I have ever received in my life. What message? <laughs> you just said, "What's up, nerds?" I just had a bloody fantastic night. Also, don't microwave grapes because they will generate plasma and explode and blur burn out your microwave. I don't know if that's true, but who just Is starts off a conversation like chat, that? Or... Yeah, someone just sent, like, when they subbed, they sent that message in. That is wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Will grapes actually generate plasma? I don't, that sounds weird, but like, that doesn't I'm not sound a grape real. scientist. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I, I'm, no, I'm not an expert either, so I'm not quite sure, but that does not sound real. Right, we'll do woohoo trade. We love. Oh, I trade. love when the AI, when the AI just steps off of sieges. That's really, that's really oh good. Oh my god, I hate it when they do that. Eggs versus grapes. They do weird stuff in microwave. Oh, I Oops. have a friend. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh... call him out. But I have a friend who. Oh, I see. Yeah, hungry. Oh well. I have a friend, Musk I was yeah, talking ahead. about, I was talking, so I was talking about the egg, and he was mm -hmm. like, it's easy, you just put an egg in a cup in a microwave, it'll explode, but that's just scrambled eggs. And I was just like, what the? I, I mean, I, I guess? That's, and then he also suggested for a meal to just do, like a, a whole meal, just take a can of beans, put it in the microwave, that's your meal. Mmm, beans. No salt, no seasoning, nothing. Wait, beans isn't like just like a can of beans? Because I, I, I wouldn't put a can. can I feel like that would okay. uh, lead yeah, to. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that sounds like a bad idea, but um, but I think he just meant like take it out of the can and put. Ooh, I have eighty-five power projection. That's nice. But yeah, I think I think he just meant like 
Yeah. Moscovy just broke their alliance with me. That's pretty not good. Yeah, that's uh, not ideal. They're, I think they're probably getting ready to attack me. That's not good. Maybe. It's, it's, it's possible. It's been known to happen. I'm doing alright, though, in terms of stuff like that, so I'm not too worried. Um... Do you think you could toss Warsaw on my way? Oh, yes, sure. Thank you. I'll transfer all the provinces I have. Here, you pay the fort maintenance. Oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Suffer the cost of my consequences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, but we have all the big cities, I think. So we'll sh we'll, we should be fine. Yeah, I don't think I can get a 100% out of this, but like, yeah, it's close enough. Yeah. No, it'll, it'll be good either way. What is this? Why mm -hmm. are there more rebels? Polotsk? Stop it. Oh my god. I'm gonna get fan art in like two days of Muscovy having beat us up. I know it. No, 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 we'll be fine. <laughs> we will definitely beat Muscovy. <laughs> they doubted us for pulling Lithuania. That they did, yeah. They also doubted they also doubted Bohemia, but we did too, so I think that's fair. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a slight coalition, but that's okay. I love coalitions. Yeah, what what uh, you know, what's a what's a little coalition? Uh hmm. yeah, I don't think we can get any more war score I don't here, think so. so. But that's fine. Alright. Uh What's the participation? Austria's gonna get like half the money if I take full money. I might just war reps this instead. Yeah, probably a good idea. And get uh, a little bit of money. How goes the Crusades? It's alright. Oh, Geldum's independent. Oh, maybe I can get other people out. Oh, never mind, okay. I thought maybe if I get Saxony out, that would be, that would be good, but mm -hmm. they're not gonna leave, so. Alright, we'll just take this then. Yeah. It's still, it's still a solid. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. So a little bite, a little chomp. And out the of borders that. are nice. Wow. I like to take full states. I I agree. I hate it when, like, I get that it makes sense, but I always hate whenever, like, you know, the the strategy of like doing like a, a like cutting off the borders so that somebody else can't attack them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I should that. have done that if uh, if Hungary didn't take Przemysl. Przemysl? I don't know how it's pronounced. Yeah. If they didn't take that, then maybe I would have, but that's a little bit too cursed, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bohemia just broke their alliance with me. Thanks, Bohemia. Uh -oh. That's not good. Why? Uh, I guess they just wanted Poland, so. Oh, they just really, really want. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Is Muscovy guaranteeing Geldum? Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, because they probably released them in a peace deal yeah, from I Denmark. Think so. And Sammy. Mm hmm. That's still so funny. I, I really like what they did with the Sammy, like, borders, though, because it used to be, like, what? They just got, like, two provinces. But now they get a few more. Ooh. Yeah, it's a lot better than it used to be. Muscovy just got a claim on Vilna. Uh, what's Vilna? Oh, that Vilna. That's not good. <laughs> no, no, not particularly. Yeah, just in case I'm going to build that spy network. Yeah. Let's see. What do I need for my missions? Ally the Emperor. No. Papal. Okay. Pope stuff. I can't do the Pope stuff. Conquer Lithuania, I can't do that either. Fortify Livonia. I don't have the money. Mycenaean conversions. Okay. I am apparently a great power. <laughs> yeah. I see that. I'll do that. Oh, it's because of institutions. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Not as cool as I thought I was. What is this? Relations. Cool. I now have strong allies, apparently. That's good. 
Crimea is attacking Poland too. What the? Wait, what's happening in Ottomans? What is, yeah, kind of Kulun. Kul QQ. Hmm. Oh, Burgundian. Hmm. What the? Uh... I'm sorry. Oh, Austria. Austria got Burgundy, but it was, they don't have a Habsburg. What the? I think what happened is they gave Burgundy to the French and kept the Lowlands. But not Flanders. But not Flanders. Tragic. Because they're independent. But wh what, what is Austria's dynasty? Cursed. That is really cursed, actually. What the hell? I'm gonna ally Austria, actually, because they'll let me. That's a very good idea. Who needs Habsburgs when you can have one Ankels? <laughs> For God only knows what reason. What I like about the Habsburg mission tree, or the, not the Habsburg one, the Austria one, is Isn't that the uh, Hab. Yeah, their tag is literally Hab. That's true. They are they're the Habsburgs. <laughs> but the uh, the mission tree is there's a mission called Spread the Habsburgs, and if you don't have Habsburgs, it changes it to be uh, your dynasty. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, it's. Mm -hmm. I think I saw that once when I was like, I had a, a regency, and so it it did that dynasty. That's also really weird. Like, you can claim thrones when you have a regency, like a queen regent, if the queen regent yeah. is the same. That's always weird. It's like that's not how this works. Yeah, that, that isn't how it works. But I like how that you can just do that. Mhm. Mm Let's see. It's dumb, but I like it. Too high autonomy or too high taxes? I don't care. Let's see. Are there any? I literally Habsburgs? just got that event. That's crazy. Are there any Habsburgs? Oh, Spain is ruled by the Davis. Okay. So you got Portuguese Spain. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Castile rejected the the marriage. I saw that earlier. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Let's see. Any Habsburgs? I think they might be gone. Reverse Iberian Union. What the? And the, the D'Ors family rules Aragon. What is going on in this game with the, the families? We changed the timeline too much. Yeah, there's like weird shit going on now. What in the goddamn? No Austria-Hungary, no Habsburgs. The Trastamaras are gone. And Crimea is very big. I'm not happy about that. Nah, they'll be fine. <laughs> oh, never mind. They're a tributary of Ottomans. Well. Yeah. GG. Spain is ruled by geese. Yes. Apparently. Alright. I think actually I would like to attack Muscovy at some point. Like maybe when we get attack on them or something. Mm hmm. It might be good to. Uh, I don't know, tech 7 or 9? Nine? 9 might be a better one. Maybe. Because they haven't gotten the Renaissance yet, so they should be mm, lagging yeah. behind. Oh, please don't drag me in Austria. What is, oh, let's wait, see. Wait, what? They said they were going to go to war with France over Burgundy. 70, okay. Are they not going to do that? Who knows, honestly. So I'm not going to get involved in that. That's none of my business. What the hell? Yeah, this is a strange game already. Um, but Muscovy seems to be focused on the east right now. I think probably because I'm allied with like Austria and Bohemia, and so they're not really they don't want to tangle with that. Mm -hmm. Which weirdly they're not out. Uh, they're not rivals. I feel like they're always rivals. Muscovy and Austria. No, Austria and Bohemia. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think Austria's uh, too strong now. Yeah, probably. All right. I have Renaissance. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think I'm going to wait on the idea. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. How is the institution spreading? I'm wondering. Kiev looks whack. That's okay. Hey, Moscow, would you like a... Would you like sharing? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I... Okay. Muscovy has...
taking out Kazam, mostly. A little worrying, a little worrying. They don't have any... Okay, they have no manpower, though. And Sweden that is, is kind very of distracted. Good. I think in a little bit, actually, Sweden might be in too much of a situation to, like, join. <clears throat> so it might be a good idea to go and attack them then. Oh, wait, you have a truce. Oh, I do have a truce, because they broke their alliance with me. Okay, that's two more years. Ooh. And then, let's see. What is... Okay, Crimea is in Poland. Oh my god, Poland's so tiny. They're in... Poland is a PU with Bohemia. Huh? Tiny little Poland. What? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Bohemia gets a personal union CB. Oh. In their mission tree, so. 4, 4 p.m. Poland. Bohemia Tragic. is the MC. One day we're gonna have to... I don't know, is there any kind of villain that beats the main character? I don't know, but they... they... But we'll have to become that. Maybe we're the villains. Oh, maybe. I could see that. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whose side is almost dead? Unfortunate. I like Hoside. I think it's very interesting, and it's such a shame that it barely appears. Okay, I'm gonna pause to read this big event that I got. Oh. It's, um... Oh it's, like, one of the really main ones. What? This is when I decide to do the, uh, my, my mission tree path, um, so... Yeah. Uh, Why I can do... It? German Conquest, Prussian Kingdom, or Holy Roman Diplomacy. I mean, I would kind of... I'm probably still going to do the diplomacy one because of just becoming idea. the emperor just yeah, for the hell of it, idea. you know. Mm -hmm. And then I get a subjugation CB on Brandenburg and they have the electorate, so I get the electorate. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. And also because then, um, cause then our, our areas of like interest aren't overlapping too much. Mm hmm. Because I would like uh, Ruthenia, please. Oh, I just became Prussia. Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, can, let's see. I think see. you can get the Teutonic Bishopric now, which is a really good form of government. Okay, I just oh. got Prussian ideas. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, Prussian ideas are not quite as Prussian as I thought they would be. No. Oh, discipline's at the end. That's why. Okay. I'm yeah. like, where's the discipline in my <laughs> in my Prussian tree? <laughs> it's less likely than you think. All right. Uh, okay, we can keep going. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think Sweden, Sweden, I'm just kind of waiting um, for them to... Oh, no, they're winning now. What the? They're... Oh, Sweden's the attacker. I see. Someone in chat just said, oh my god, Corbett, you, f you have friends to play games with? And that kind of hurts. <laughs> kind of hurts a little bit. Today inside. it's just you getting roasted to like the day for some reason. Chat is ruthless. Yeah. Even your chat was ruthless. To me. It's, yeah, no, they they just they're awful. Bloodthirsty, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I'll summon the diet. Okay, so I'm I am bishopric or uh, holy order Prussia. Hmm. That's yeah. Oh, I can become a militaristic divine state. This is crazy. That one's really good. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah. Oh, apparently militarism is locked behind not being Catholic. Bruh. Yeah. Let's see. You're joking. Uh, <laughs> one of the following is true. I can... Well, if I unlock the militaristic divine state government well, reform, okay. probably through a mission... Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, just, I'm getting murdered too. Corbett's only friend is a VTuber, huh? You're in my Damn. chat. None of this. <laughs> Damn. And now they're just saying they're egg thirsty. <clears throat> I need more coffee. I need to ally or subjugate five countries. Uh, okay. 
I'm gonna make an egg emote. I'll do it. That's like 90% of why I want to like get the 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 monetization or whatever it is. I don't care about money. I want emotes. <laughs> yeah. I want to be spammed with eggs, but like with my face on it. Not just normal eggs. Please don't spam normal eggs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Actually, yesterday, yesterday they were like, when, how long until you say, um, uwu, or A-R-A, A-R-A, and then I was like, I will never say that. No, I will never do that. And then I said, like, my chat is asking when I will say uwu. Fuck. Tragic. <laughs> it lasted a whole two minutes. They played you from the very beginning. All right, I can get, uh, Tech 7. Do you want to maybe attack, like, Muscovy? Uh, yeah, I just picked up Tech 7. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because they're at 6 still, so now would be a good time. Um, oh, wait. Once the truce is over in, like, two minutes. When is it? November. Alright, end of the year, then. Panda Cridge, you don't already have the egg emote. I'm working on it. Alright? VTubers don't just pop into existence with, like, 10,000 subs, alright? Although, it does sometimes feel that way. Ah. Uh, the egg bullying will never end. Oh! Oh? Huh? What happened? Bohemia is requesting you come to aid in the Crimean conquest of Poland against Crimea? What is Crime? Huh? Hmm. Oh, apparently they're winning, though. Yeah, they're- they're- Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. What? Why is Crimea conquering Poland? They don't even border each other. Well, they did until Hungary oh. decided to change that. No, that's fair, yeah. That's- Really weird. Okay. Sure, why not? This might as well happen. How do you pronounce QQ? How do you pronounce it? I'm very curious. Me? Yeah. Kara? Like Kara Koyonlu? Okay, so is that how you say it? Because I've, I've always been saying I have it, like, no idea. Kulunyu. I have literally no clue. Yeah, no, it's, it's unclear. What is Ottomans doing? Oh, they're attacking QQ. Like, there's, uh, there's also a, a country, like a horde, that's a little out east, mm. that's spelled N-O-G-A-I, and I don't know if that's no guy or no gay. I know there's a province that's just spelled, like, no gay. Yeah, and that's and that's pretty much the same as the country, and I have mm. no idea which way it's supposed to be. Yeah, no clue. Who knows, honestly? What is this? Probably the devs. I'll walk up there and ask them on Paradox Call. <laughs> yeah. But what is that? I don't know. They haven't announced it yet, I don't mm. think. Where is this? Podlychen? Why do you want a church there? It gives, like, no benefits. Okay. Lithuania is no. No, Lithuania has been uh, pushed inwards. No gay horde cancelled over homophobic comments. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you for cancelled? Yeah. Oh, Lithuania is being guaranteed by Muscovy now. That's... Great, that means we can kill them both at the same time. Woohoo! Actually. Hmm. Oh, they're also allied to Hungary? Okay, then. Sure. Why not? Whack. I think... Did... Oh, Sweden has no army. Let's go! <laughs> they have 1k soldiers now. Yeah, they probably won't help if we invade Muscovy. Do they have manpower? They have 3k manpower! <laughs> Alright, you wanna... you wanna go uh, attack them? Uh, yep, let me get my morale up. We'll go for... where is it? Uh... Willerker... Willerkerms. Actually, no, we should do, um, Reconquest, probably, right? Mm, probably, yeah. 
I'll go for Novgrad then. I'll call you in. Unfortunately, I can't call Bohemia or Austria in, but I don't think that'll matter too much. Yeah, I mean, Muscovy still has tech six and very little manpower, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we almost outnumber them, actually, so I think we'll be good. All right, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yep. All right. Cool. Oh, and Austria's Burgundy now. There are Burgundian pretender rebels oh, yeah. in Austria for a country that no longer exists. Let's go. I love when rebels like cross borders and stuff, and it just no longer makes any sense. It used to be really bad with um, Denmark pretender rebels. Mm. Yeah, because when they... they're stuck in Zealand or um, anywhere really, they would have to go all the yeah. way around to reach the other side. Yeah, no, that that I remember. I have you have you ever seen the traveling uh, Granadan separatists? Uh, maybe. It's so funny because they'll be in like um, North Africa and they can't get across the strait to go back to Spain. So they'll just walk all the way around the Mediterranean. So if you're playing like <laughs> Austria, you'll just see these Grenadine, like, you know, Grenadine separatists. And it's like, huh? How did. Where did you come from? <laughs> He's going on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, call for peace with Crimea. Bohemia, can you end that war? Yeah, I hate how the AI's wars give you call for peace. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't even my problem. It's none I'm of my just, business. I'm just being, like, supportive. I don't even know what your problem is, man. <laughs> I'm just helping my friend. I wonder where Muscovy is right now. Uh, I can tell you, they're in Crimea. Their entire 43k stack is in Crimea. Oh, okay. Oh my god, they're in Bakhmut. <laughs> Tropical. It's very topical. Oh, well, I guess I could invade Smolensk then. Probably siege yeah. that. The Crimea War is now over, so... Not topical. Oh, Sweden's in this war? They are, but they have 5k troops, so... Whack. They're doing great. Oh, just like Czech POWs causing havoc during Russian Revolution? Yeah, kind of. Have you heard about that story? Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of... Mus... Mus... Aha! Do you need help? Uh, I need something. I'm probably just gonna back out of this, don't worry about it. Okay. Just keep sieging Polotsk. Yeah. Just like retreat. Retreat! Run away! Run away! Oh, yeah, that was pretty bad. I mean, I only lost, I think like, coming towards me now. a few hundred more men, but... Uh-oh. Uh... Pray for that 57. Praying for 57. Fuck. Damn it. Well, they're... they're you for a moment. They're angling. Oh, and they're coming. Uh, yeah, that's... That's that's GG. Um, hmm. Yeah, you can't really leave that, huh? Yeah. I don't think you can reinforce either. I think I'll just run, hmm. honestly. This live might have been a mistake. Live to fight I can't even live to fight another day. I mean, you probably won't get wiped. You have better tech than they do, but like, yeah, that's not looking very good. Yeah, I'm gonna run though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's 40,000. There, there they are. Alright, I'm just running away. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to home territory so I can reinforce. Mm -hmm. I'll just go, oh, get on an island. Run away to the island. Oh, no. Yeah, They're... I think it's ideal in this case to let them try to siege us and then fight them on forts. That's probably a good idea, yeah. Oh, I can call in Bohemia. Oh, well, there you go. I think, at least. Yes, I can. Bohemia, help. My good general is dead now. Oh well. I have now a subpar general. Yeah, I don't have any good generals. Yeah. I can try to hire one, maybe. Oh, Chad. this is a good guy. There we go. Chad Bohemia, once again. <laughs> Main character Bohemia. Mm -hmm. Coming to save the day. Mm -hmm. 
Even though we're rivals? I'm gonna go attack uh, Navgrad. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to wipe Yaroslavl if Yay. I can. Unless they siege that. Oh, England is I now. hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> 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 they did siege it. I hate this. Oh my god. I hate it when that happens. Are you going to... Yeah, I'm going to go and get that, uh, oh, yeah, that extra... Oh yeah, kind of distracted, it seems, fighting Bohemia. Oh, yay! Rejoice. We're only down 18%. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, maybe yeah. I can wipe this Muscovy stack, though. If I'm lucky. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a month for that. I'm gonna get... more money. What are loans, anyway? Loans are good. Love loans. Yeah. No, I remember... I remember... I think it was a pretty common experience, but, like... You know, when you just start the game and you're like, oh no, I'm terrified of debt. I'm a, a student. Yeah. I've been told my whole life that if you get in debt, you're immediately dead. <laughs> you die yeah. on the spot. You sign, like, the, the form to get, like, student loans and you're just immediately just, like, assassinated. They steal your soul to deal with the devil? It really is. But yeah, no, so I was, like, terrified to get any loans, and now, meanwhile, I've, I've had a thousand hours and, like, what, seven loans? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's, it's, it's going pretty well, though, I will say. It's, it's, it could be going worse, could be going a lot worse. Mm-hmm. That's for certain. Could certainly be going worse. That's gotten awful air. Well, my ear's strict, but he's a 1-5-2. Oh, I, I didn't even notice. No! I just got beat up by them. <laughs> oh, Are no. you kidding? Oh, you can get Sweden out, though, probably. Because yeah. they're at low. I'll get Sweden out. Please leave. Goodbye. And now we have naval superiority because they don't have any boats. Well, the, the, I don't think they have a coastline, so no, I mean... No, they don't have that either. I didn't even notice. I was, I was looking at chat. How could they? Chat, you yeah, distracting, distracting you. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit over here. And hope I don't die. Oh, and they're they're just they just have like a big death stack. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Mm. They're actually they're they're doing the better. <laughs> strategy because we're splitting up and they're death balling let's just sit on like Novgorod because that's the war goal that's fair enough Novgorod is also a woods fort mm -hmm. that's a little less good but yeah oh. yeah conflicts between that okay I don't care that's your right Yeah, this is not going as planned. Like, we, I think we definitely outnumber them. They're just playing smarter. I can't believe... I, 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 don't, I don't want to admit the AI is playing smarter. Yeah. I can't. It's against my my <laughs> very being. Oh, yeah. Have you heard about the, um, the Czech Foreign Legion? Uh, I can't say I have. So, during World War I, there were these Czech volunteers that were fighting on the Eastern Front uh, for the Russians because, you know, they wanted independent Czech uh, Czechoslovakia. And mm -hmm. so they were fighting for the Russians for that. Uh, but then the Russian Civil War broke out, and they were kind of still stuck there. They couldn't go west because that's where their enemies, the Germans, were. They couldn't go east because that's where... Or they couldn't go, like, north because that's where the Bo Bolsheviks were. They couldn't go south because, you know, more Bolsheviks. Mm -hmm. So they went east, all the way around the world. First what? east, they followed the Trans-Siberian Railway east to Vladivostok, uh, where they fought along the way, and they like you know did shenanigans, and they stole the treasury and that kind of stuff. Then, okay. once they got there, they continued, they took a boat to America, and then took another train across America, and then another boat back to Europe. Um, and then finally, like, they got back to what was now, uh, uh, the new country of Czechoslovakia. 
Huh. And there are like all kinds of wacky shenanigans from that, like whole time. Well, if it works, it works, I guess. Yeah, but it was just, it was just really weird. Yeah, it's pretty wacky. Yeah, honestly, I want, I want, you know, none of these like, no more of these like really, you know, boring historical, uh, historical dramas where they like do weird stuff. And no, I want the the story of the Czech Foreign Legion. <laughs> yeah, it's always like the. For some reason, the they never give you like the best stories for movies, yeah. like historical movies. They give you like yeah. the ones people know. Yeah, it's it's so silly. It's like I want to learn more. Come on, give me new things to be excited about. Like I, just... I would, I would pay to see a movie about Leo Major, who that... like lib he is uh he's this Canadian soldier in World War II who liberated an entire town by himself. Oh yeah, I've heard about that guy. That, that yeah, would be that good. mad lad. That would be such a good movie. But no, we only get stories about like Churchill. Yeah. <laughs> so many. The seventeenth story about Churchill. Because you know, his story hasn't been told yet. <laughs> we need to need to give another spin on that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um. Oh yeah, no, they only have twenty one k now. They're not doing too well. Yep, yeah, I've been. Dealing with them oh, down they south. They just hired mercenaries. Oh, that's cool. So now they have 27k. But yeah, no, like. There, yeah, no, there's this, um, there's this movie. It's really bad, but it's like bad in a charming way. It's, okay. um, it's about Queen Christina of Sweden. It's called The Girl King. And it's just her being like incredibly chaotic and gay, and it's just wonderful. Um,. It's so super poorly done. Like the acting is not very good. It's it's like a <laughs> pretty low budget like Swedish movie, but it's just it's charming in that way. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think that's what it needs to be. Okay, we've got it. Woo! -hoo! Positive war score finally. Yay! My manpower is hurting. <laughs> to Moscow we go. And by that I mean Smolensk. Because I don't want to go to Moscow yet, because that seems a bit far. Smolensk might be a little bit dangerous. Uh, who just stepped off Polotsk? Someone did that. Are you kidding? Kiev. How could? Oh no. I'm just gonna sit here where I'm safe because there's there's villains about. Are, are you safe there? Are you sure about that? I don't think so, but it's safer than moving. Okay, yeah, I can I can understand that. Because I have to go north. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, Muscovy's going to try and go after the Wurgle. Mm. Oh, yep, they are. So I'm going to try and regain manpower and then fight them. Mm-hmm. I'll go up there, too. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Keep sieging. Oh, okay. I'll oh. go back. Oh, I mean, the siege is lost, so now you get to decide. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're going... Okay, I'm gonna slap him. Go get him. Okay. Uh, I have actually a decent general, a 3-5, so... I've been able to, uh, destroy these stacks pretty well. I'm also here. Oh, I got here too late. That's <laughs> okay. I'm helping. Okay, I might have to go, go back, uh, go back to my land to reinforce. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I have Bogomolist heretics. 21,000. That's cool. Love that. Yeah, the, the Bogomolists are kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird that they appear up here, because they were mainly a Balkan heresy. Like, Well, I mean, the way this... The way they do heresies in this game. Yeah, it, it's not well done. Like a lot of things. That's, oh, that's one of the things I so, so want. I really want them to redo the way they do, like, minority religions and heresies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah, this game has, like, no representation for any minorities and provinces. I have problematic relations with Muscovy. What does that mean? They don't like me. Ah, uh, okay. That's fair. Muscovy. Oh, I am being oh, attacked. Oh, yeah. Maybe... Oh, there I go. Maybe Smolensk was, uh... Yeah. That's right, we still have positive war score. That's we, true. We are winning. 
And uh, let me see if they've taken out loans. I hope so, because that would be cool. Uh, they've taken out one loan. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's Must neat. Must be too strong. Must be too strong. Please At least we're enough. winning. I mean, there's... We are, we are winning. That I will uh, I will give you. I've had to slack in for manpower twice, but we're still winning. Yeah. It, it's something. We have, what, two forts? And they have never yeah. Vars? Oh, they have Kiev, but that doesn't count. Fake fort. Yeah, yeah. If you want another silly historical story, look up a fungus called ergot. A what? I don't know. Somebody in my chat saying that it's funny. I don't know what that is, though. Why am I okay. losing 10 a month? Reinforcements? Yeah, that's probably it. Reinforcements are crazy expensive. I don't know if they changed that recently, but... I don't even have any manpower. Where are you getting these men? That are costing so much money. Muscovy is willing to cede two provinces, but I, that's not good enough for me. Yeah, we can definitely keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're, they're, they have no manpower either, and they're on 22. Whereas we have, you have 22, and you also have no manpower. <laughs> this is just us beating each other to death, honestly. There will yeah, be no this, this is not very good. There will be no victor from this. Do I have increased levies? I do already. I think Bohemia and I are going to beat up this stack. Never mind, Bohemia has other ideas. Oh! Oh, I don't know, actually. My guy is dead. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to beat up this stack anyway, even if Bohemia doesn't help. Let's see, yeah, that's fine. Now I have a little bit of money. I do have... Mm, 10 loans. You have 10 loans? Yes. Oh god, okay. <laughs> that's can, pretty bad. I can... I can figure it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I believe in you. I'll figure it out. I just need to end this war. And get some war reps. Or spy on them for siege speed, that's a good idea. I just gotta just gotta make it through this week. It's one of my favorite memes. Just gotta make it through this week. Yeah, yeah I'm fine, bro. Just that's gotta make fine. it through the week. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. Okay. This is not that bad though. They're now willing to seed more provinces. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, oh Bohemia that's is not out. good. That's no, that's not particularly good. However, we are still winning. Yeah. And we have 14k. That's it. They only have 14k. Oh, my leader's dead. Yeah, unless they take out loans for mercs. More loans for more mercs. Yeah. Let's see. I'll do that guy. I'll get him. One of my mods said this war is headbutting each other as hard as possible to see who dies first. <laughs> it really is. It really is. All right, please, just give me... <sighs> they didn't give me Palotsk. God damn it. And I have administrative problems too, apparently. Yeah, I'm only getting like oh. 400 manpower a month. This is so painful. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh... Oh. And there you go. Yeah, that should be... I don't think it's a white, but, you know, That's we'll be good. That's their last army. Oh, Finally. they hired more mercs. God, you gotta be kidding me, please. Okay, we have Polotsk. I think it might be a good idea to end here. Uh, possibly, yeah. Let me get my, my guy back. I'll just, like, occupy some provinces, I guess. Ooh, Byzantine Influx. One of my favorite events. That one's, yeah. Yeah, just like occupy okay. whatever you can. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just end the war and run away. Okay, I have yeah, my... Uh, my back. I could probably occupy a little bit. And then mind, I don't want to do that with mercs. Do I was going to say, if they have no men, I could carpet siege, but mercs, they, so... They, they do, yeah. <laughs> they most definitely do. Um, Alright, I'm trying to figure out what, what would be good to take. Mm, you can return Novgorod. Yeah. Um, uh, which is good for trade. 
Uh, no, I don't want. Why would I give cola to Novgorod? Novgorod, to Novgorod. <laughs> why not? I'll do. Um. What else? What else? I'll give. Um. Oh, I want to take these two provinces. Do I occupy them? I do. Okay, good. And then I want to give. Um. I'll give like I don't know. What is it? No, I don't want that one. I want. No, not that one either. There's too many provinces. Too many Novgorod. Here, I'll take that one. And... No, I don't want that one. I'll take that one. Is that all I can take? And then I'll take 500 ducats. Oh, yes. How much of that will go to me, though? Not uh, a lot. I'm going to say about a third. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, war reps instead, I think. That is a better idea. They won't you give with me your it. ten loans. Yeah, they won't give me it. I'll just demand one less province. I don't need that. And then I'll take a little money. I'll take a whole two hundred monies. There you go. Okay, I think that's a good peace deal. Ah, uh, monies. 140 monies. Okay, so now I'm only losing a lot of money. Instead of a very lot of money. Yeah, let's see. How's your economy doing? Not the best. But I do now have... Uh, I now yeah. have the provinces I need so I can now core them and then I'll um I'll get the mission, which will be good. There you go. Woohoo. Um, oh, you didn't get rid of their guarantee for Lithuania. Oh, I didn't. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. We'll, we'll beat them up over it in a while. But yeah, they don't yeah, have... I mean... um, they're not allied to uh, uh, Hungary anymore. So, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll, we can, we'll be fine. All right. All right, all right. Actually being warned by Hungary, which is funny. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> by God. Don't you do it. I'll go attack these. Oh, I have Bogomolus Teratix as well. Let's go. We'll okay. Uh, I am making a decent lot of money. I could probably give you some. Uh, maybe That'd not be, a lot, but that'd some. That'd be good, actually, yeah. I will, uh... Did you take the, the good loans, or do you have, like, the regular loans? I have both. Ah, yeah, okay. I mean, at least, as long as you took the good ones, now. too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pay off. I need, like, I don't know, a couple hundred, and then I will pay off. Actually, I'm just gonna do a little, uh... What's a little corruption, even? That's fine. Oh, God, no, please. Oh, and I just got a, <laughs> a, a company. Okay, so Company? I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can now repay some loans. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, that's a I lot of like, debt you have there. Do you have, a like, 75 that I could have? Because yep. then I can pay off my 1% and use that to pay off my 4%. Yay! Okay. And I will pay off my 1%. And I will get bigger 4%. And then I can use that. Corrupt Advisor? No. Oh, darn. Lose Diplo power. <laughs> um, and then I will use that to pay off my 4%. Okay. Um, cool. Now I'm in slightly less debt, which is actually quite nice. Slightly less debt is good. Yeah. <laughs> debt consolidation. Uh... Yeah, uh, less, uh, less inflation, right? Not inflation, interest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, and I'm coring those provinces. I'll actually, I'll lower autonomy as well. That'd be a good idea. Lithuania is no longer a valid rival. Really? I'll rival Muscovy, why not? I can take him. Let me we'll put up army maintenance just for a minute. Okay. 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 <laughs> Saf thinks like the presidents of this of my country. More debt, more corruption. <laughs> I don't know don't what country that is, <laughs> but sounds right. <laughs> Saf would be uh, South Africa, maybe? No, Saf, as in me. 
Oh. <laughs> I thought they meant like. Never mind. I'm. I yeah, am, I'm gonna stop talking. I am Sap. <laughs> It's actually super funny. I don't think anybody has ever called me like lady, which makes sense. But it is it is my name. <laughs> Everybody just calls me some variation of, of saffron. I mean, yeah, that makes sense because like ladies, like a title, and then saffron would be the name, right? Well, no, it is it is just a name. I <laughs> wait. The name lady is like the name. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that's that that's uh, what people first think of though. <laughs> Probably not, but I, I did I did specify it. But yeah. No, it's not a title. I'm not fancy. I'm just well named. <laughs> oh yeah, like how Guy Fury's named Guy. Yeah, exactly. Guy's like an actual name. Exactly, exactly. That's actually exactly what I was thinking of. But there's like there's people like named Lady, like, you know, Lady Gaga. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that counts, but... I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I... If I can put myself in a category with Lady Gaga, I'm happy. You do you. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> but yeah. There's also... I've been watching uh, an anime called... Uh, I, I don't know the full title, but the shortened version is Ma uh, Magi Revo, and they all have like like all of their their nobles are. Na it's kind of silly. The country is called Paletia, like color palette. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the nobles are all like the like Duchess of uh, like Cyan, or okay. the, the like the Duke of uh, Chartreuse. It's so funny, and I'm like, oh, it could be Lady Saffron then, yeah. Someone in my chat just said that they're watching that too. Oh, it's so good. I, I highly recommend it. If I if I had a nickel for every uh Isekai Yuri reincarnation gender swap anime out this season, I would have two nickels. Because there are two for some reason. Yeah, which is not a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The magical revolution of the reincarnated prin princess and the genius own lady. Yes, that's the one. Because its title is just... <laughs> Shortest light novel title. Somebody else is referring to it as the bottom princess anime? Yes, that one. Wow. I see. Rebels, please die. I have no manpower, but I also have no rebels anymore. So Amon said they're watching a bunch of fish die. What? 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 You is good? it like for fun or like just is huh? that a regular pastime or uh you know me and me and me and the boys going down to the the fishing hole to watch them die. <laughs> Bring your own dynamite or something. I don't know. Uh, what? Yeah. And then the other one the other one's so funny because the main character is uh like the main character, it's in like the first scene, it's like this old dying king, and then he reincarnates, and he has like two seconds of like, wait, I'm a girl now? Oh no! And then it's like completely just fine after that, which is just so funny. Mm -hmm. And then every now and then, uh, like they change the voice of like her thoughts to like a feminine voice, but then every now okay. and then when it gives like exposition, it'll switch back to like the old man voice, so it'll just be like this like teenage girl being like, man, I didn't know about that. And then the old, like, king being like, Yes, you see, this thing existed in my kingdom as well. It's so jarring and hilarious. Oh, I think there's another anime that does that. Um, there's, like, Slime Isekai, I think, does that, too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's so funny. That one's really weird as well, because I feel yeah. like a lot of, like, gender swap animes do the thing where they, like, are really, really uncomfortable... And like gratuitous fan service, but weirdly mm -hmm. in this one, like the only one that's sexualized is like the main character, and she's very uncomfortable with it. And it's kind of like self-aware in a way, and it's it's kind of it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I recommend it. It's it's both both very good enemies. I think that one is like reborn to master the sword or something. Let me look it up. Yeah, there. I have a a list of like. 
probably 50 anime I have to watch still. Yeah. Oh, the watch it's... list is massive. Reborn to master the blade, from hero king to extraordinary, extraordinary squire. Ah, of course it is. Of course it's named something like that. Back in my day, anime was called Naruto. Yeah. I'm gonna be an anime boomer. Back in my day, titles were less than 25 words. Yeah, like if I can't fit it in, like, the the you know, like a list without having to dot 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 it. Like, that's too many. And I mean, most most people just refer to those kinds of shows by their shortened names anyway. Yeah, so like, Maggie why? Revo. Uh, like, like Konosuba, it, yeah. it has like a super long title, but... God, yeah, exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. Dude, this guy. Oh, I'm losing money now. Woohoo. Where'd my money go? Oh, I have money now. We're born to study the blade. Yeah, it is It is funny, though, saying the full names. Mm-hmm. Because I guess in Japanese, it's like only a few characters, just because you can fit so much information into so few characters, but it's still very mm -hmm. funny. I mean, it's still a mouthful to say, even in Japanese, yeah. though. Oh, wait, is Nov Novgorod is a metropolis. Whoa. Because they're like... Orthodox. That's interesting. Oh yeah, because when you release them, yeah. <laughs> they're calling me. They're calling me an otaku and asking when I'm gonna play Waifu Universalis. <laughs> Don't give in. Resist them. I'm not. I'm not doing Waifu Universalis. I'll do it if they make a VTuber version of it. VTuber Universalis? Yeah, like give me like what? There's like you could get like a German VTuber, have them on the Prussian flag, get like a French VTuber, have them on the French flag. I uh I remember I think I did a mod showcase. This was like years ago, back when I used to do these, and one of them yeah. was Wife for Universalis as a joke. And they actually do have some of the more popular VTubers in there. Oh, or it might have been a different thing. Uh, I know, like, they changed the flags for Wife of Universalis, but they also changed, like, the banners. Like, the Age of Discovery and stuff. Yeah. That's and the, uh, interesting. Yeah, I, think, I think the banner had, like, Marine in it. Oh, that's like, cool. Like, uh, from Hololife, yeah. That, I mean, that fits. That fits. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have, I have a few playlists on my phone. I, my friends like to make fun of me for not listening to music. Like, they'll just play, like, really popular, either, like, pop music or, like, you know, like, class, not not classical music, but, like, you know, famous music. And I'll just be like, mm -hmm. I don't know who this is by. And they're like, what the hell? Why Why would you not know this thing? Like, that's... Yeah. Every, do you not... How do you not know Elton John? And it's, like, it, it's really... A, it's just awful. But part of it is because I have, like, one playlist I listen to on my phone regularly, and it's just anime. It's like, it's Bochi the Rock and, because those are good, that's good music. It's Bochi, Bochi the, the Beast. Yeah. It's Bochi the Rock and uh, VTuber, VTuber songs and that's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I do have my Weeb playlist, which is like over a hundred songs long. Yeah. No, mine's, mine's also just called Weeb Music. I think I call that, uh, I don't remember if I called it Weeb Shit or like the Weeb PL. Something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what is... Oh, my my admin tech is lagging behind. Oh, wait. No, I can... No, I can't get it. I can get a different tech, though. I'm gonna wait, though, because I don't want that. VTuber Universalis, yeah. And I feel like the problem, though, is that there aren't... Like, VTubing is, I feel like, a fairly localized trend. Like, I don't think it's too worldwide. Like... I don't know if you could find any, like, Rwandan VTubers. It's uh, very much the kind of job that relies on having a very robust, like, economy in your country. Yeah. Like, very large, because it's such a non-essential kind of work. Yeah, I was, I was watching, um, I was watching a clip from, uh, Reimu Endo 
uh, in Niji Sanji, and she mm-hmm. is a she's a Colombian VTuber. And she said okay. like when she got hired, she was like talking to management, and they were like, "So we've never had um, a a talent that tried to appeal to like a South and Central American audience, so we have no idea what we're doing here." And it was just <laughs> so funny. It's like, yeah, how do you do that? How do you market to a completely new audience? Like that, but yeah, this is funny. Oh, I can get tech six. Yay. Now I'm only one tech behind. Ooh, the heretico combriendo. I love that. Look, I've been building up this economy. 32 you, ducats. Yeah, I'm feeling good it. about it. Why do I have... Are you kidding? What's I can't up? can't convert the two provinces I got from Muscovy for another, like, 10 years because they converted them. And they have religious zeal. Oh yeah, I hate religious zeal. Religious zeal is such a dumb mechanic. Oh, hold on. I my stab is in the toilet. Oh, what did you do? Cause my uh, my ruler died. Or no, my heir died. Sorry. Okay. And I also got an event that's like you have no stab anymore. Let's see. Missionary strength or technology cost? I'm gonna go with a uh, technology cost. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough admin power to to, to boost my stab. Oops. Tragic. Yeah, let's see. That is the three six two one general. Oh, and I'm getting three six two one. That's pretty good. I have a looming disaster now. Not good. Uh, why is that? I don't have the. I don't have the admin to stab up. Oh, I get minus one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? Oh. Oh, hi, Ivan. Um, let's see. Which one? Oh, it's, it's a Peasant's War. Uh, I think you just need manpower to fix that one, right? Hmm. 50% manpower? Yeah. That and stab. Okay. Uh, if All you right. reduce your army, it might be a good idea then. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit it out. I'm like, wait a minute. I just need to, like, recover, I think, in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have my first Livonian Knight idea. I have five discipline. That'll be so useful. <laughs> yeah, actually will be. Oh, Ivan says that he has a theory that pro artists come from Southeast Asia and Indonesia because they're able to p get paid the same price as Japanese and Western artists while having a much lower cost of living. Interesting. That is true. I can confirm that. I think That's like most yeah. artists I've commissioned are from Southeast Asia. Me too. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. I've only commissioned like two and both of them were Southeast Asian, I think. Might be like a confirmation bias kind of thing, but... It might be, yeah. Or, uh, is that the right word? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to speak words. Uh, recency bias? No, that's not the right one. No clue. Yeah, the one where you see it a few times and you're like, ah, yeah. oh, it must be everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it might be. Who knows? But yeah. Um, let's see. I'll get this now. I can build shipyards. Oh boy. Two data points that... is all you need. Exactly. I think I can probably uh, subjugate Brandenburg now. Ooh, good idea, yeah. So I can steal that electorate. Mm -hmm. I don't know who I'm going to vote for, though. Probably Austria for now. Yeah, because that, that gives you a, a like relationship bonus too, right? Mm-hmm. So that's good. All right. Oh, I can finally boost my stab a little. All right. Not going horribly. I'll just... Yeah. Does drilling decrease manpower? Does drilling decrease manpower? Yeah. Uh, no. All right. Ooh. Hungary just declared on Lithuania. Which was... Ocup okay, Muscovy has not been called in. Muscovy has refused the call, I think. Because they are 500 in debt. That makes a lot of sense. Alrighty then. Let's see. Lands for the church. I think I'll do... Lands for the church is pretty good, right? 
Uh, is that the reform? Yeah, it's a Curia Power, Papal Influence. Yeah, that's the one I took. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one as well. I love the Catholic abilities. They're so yeah, good. Yeah, they're very strong. They used to be kind of bad back in the day, but now it's like, oh. Now they're yeah. really good. No, they're they're good. Like, ever since, I think, like, what, Emperor, they've been really good. Mm-hmm, and they just keep on buffing them, too. Mm -hmm. Even after Emperor, they're like, screw it. Buff them. <laughs> yeah, I'll get Forgive Usury. We we don't please no debt. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's interesting though. I think also with like VTubers just in general, I know there are there are quite a like I think pretty much the first place that all the Japanese companies expand to after like, you know, conquering like the Japanese market is like Indonesia. And I think that's probably why as well, because it's a very attractive job for like, you know, you know, like the the kind of person that has that kind of resource to like get it started, but maybe mm -hmm. doesn't have like the viewership. Mm -hmm. but yeah, no, because there's there's quite a bit. There's like I know Hollow and Niji both have Indonesian branches. They're pretty big. Yeah, and like uh, they always somehow find talents that. Are fluent in English too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I imagine it makes you know if you're if you're living in a country where like the language isn't one that like media is produced in. Like if you're already savvy enough to like be interested in like foreign you know media like anime, then it makes sense, I guess, that you're also like an English speaker. Yeah. Because they don't exactly makes sense. they don't dub Indonesian anime uh, or anime into Indonesian. I don't think. Yeah, which is something I never really considered until, I don't know, maybe last year when I realized, oh yeah, most countries probably don't dub things in their own languages. Yeah, yeah. Oh so it's God. really expensive to we do have, that. We have an intermarium from Novgorod to Livonia to Prussia to Bohemia to Austria. I mean, uh, I guess. We divide the continent in twain. Let's see. Who are my rivals? Oh, I'm rival to Denmark. Excuse me. Okay, so Muscovy would... They would fight against me, but not against Hungary. That's really weird. Okay, then. Sure. Oh, Brazil apparently dubs a lot. That makes sense. I think there's also, like, just a pretty large, like... Asian diaspora in Brazil. So that, that makes sense, I guess. That anime mm -hmm. and stuff would be popular there. And I can... Well, I'm about to get a crazy coalition with this. <laughs> Whoops, that's okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. What is, what's a little coalition, anyway? A small English. coalition. Oh, yeah, yeah. And English, English is also kind of the global lingua franca. That, too. I think it's... English is, like, the fourth or fifth most spoken language, like, natively, or, like, second language. But as, like, a mm -hmm. third language, I think it's the most just barely beating out Mandarin. Yeah, I think if you if you go by, like, the amount of global capital held by language, then, of course, English holds yeah. the most, probably. Yeah. So, you know, it makes makes sense to do dumps in, uh, in English. Okay, mm -hmm. my tech is actually all right, weirdly enough. I just need to get, like, the next admin and mill tech. I think I could, I could hire an advisor. Sure. Oh, that's perfect. My air actually is 404. <laughs> what, Diplo not found? <laughs> no, no, no Diplo, but he's going to be great, because that's actually what I need to get more of. Oh, Portuguese is also, yeah, Portuguese, I think it's Portuguese. No, Portuguese I don't think is one of the UN languages. But it is spoken quite widely. Someone said Mandarin, Spanish, Arabic, English is the order of most spoken, I imagine. Yeah, because there are the, the UN languages. Ooh, did my, my guy died, yes. Oh yeah, get dead. I'll get um another merchant son. I love the free money. Four, five, six. Damn. I shall name him Egg the Great. 
And I thought my 436 was good. Egg the great, prayers be. Not making him a You're general. not helping yourself. The meme, the meme's gonna keep going if you I keep will. doing this. I, I mean, yes. <laughs> what Orthodox zealots? Really? You kidding? Balton people. Okay, well, there's like I don't think I have any Balton provinces anyway, so I don't care. Fine, I embrace the meme. <laughs> Because now I get people in my chat saying pog egg. Egg supremacy. Wonderful. You don't kill the cringe, you kill the part of you that cringes. Exactly, yeah. And then, let's see. I think it actually might be, after Hungary is done with them, it might be a good idea to attack Lithuania again. Uh, like, we'll get Muscovy in, but we can just, like, white piece them to reset the truce. Oh, wait, no, that truce is almost up anyway. Ooh, and they're looking pretty powerful right now, actually. Hmm, maybe not. You know, they don't have too many... We, I think we, we more or less match them. If I could get, like, Bohemia or Austria, that'd be good. Yeah, I could get Bohemia in, probably. Mm-hmm. Alright, alright. Uh, against Lithuania? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit busy right now. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I have zealots I need to deal with, too, so don't worry about it, but eventually, yeah. Why am I... Oh. It is converted. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a coalition with a lot of people. Let's not worry about that. Yoink! Yeah, that's, uh... That's not ideal. Um... That's not ideal. Uh I just have a small coalition, so... <laughs> it's not It's actually not that it. bad. I've, I've seen worse. I've gotten worse. <laughs> For a crusader state, you conquered a lot of Catholic land. That's not my problem. Uh, it's not conquering, it's a borrowing, actually. Yeah, it's it's just reclaiming it for the rightful church of... Livonia. Yeah, they were potential heretics anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, potential heretics. It's like it's like how Rome always fought defensive wars. Yeah. For strike and all that. We were just we were defending against potential heresy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need manpower fifty percent because I have that. What is my fit oh, I just got it. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's see. Oh, clergy has ninety two percent um influence. That's a little worrying. That's a little bit much, but I mean, you know, the government is the clergy, so I guess that's not awful, right? Yeah, I'll do the... Ooh, that's actually a good idea. I'll do that. Yes, good. Now, what is... Someone in... Oh my god, someone in chat just said the Livonian order looks like an Amogus. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ever order. escape it. Amogus order! I need to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Livonians are looking a little sus. Sussy Among Us Livonia. Actually, I did that the other day. Um, um, <laughs> there was snow, and so I went outside of my friend's, like, dorm, and, oh, Sweden's getting beat up by France. Um, but I went outside my friend's dorm, and I, like, walked around in the snow for, like, 20 minutes to, like, carve an Among Us. And then in the, <laughs> like, the next morning, I just got, like, a text, like, what the fuck? And somebody took a picture of it, and I was like, yes, yes, my work is, my work has been viewed. <laughs> my masterpiece. Yeah. My magnum opus. Mm -hmm. So that's now, whenever I get the chance, I'm just going to leave more of those in places. Oh. Let's see. Oh, my landmeister has, an, has a lever. Every now and then in my videos, I will drop an Amogus somewhere to wait to see if anyone notices it. Mm. Just for like a split second. As you should, yeah. Let's see, what is their tech? Okay, you have a tech on them, but I don't. That's fine. Uh, Miltek 8 is kind of cringe anyway. Yeah, um, alright. I will... How many favors do I have? Okay, I have 54. Yeah, I will do that. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Alright, I will... Ask prepare for war. And then... The military leader has left us. I don't care. 
Bohemia, Muscovy, what is this? I don't care. I don't care. And now, oh, what province should I try and take? We'll do Jitomiras. Yeah. All right. It's time. I think probably we should maybe focus first on Muscovy and get them out of the war. Uh, yeah, probably. Also, Gotland is in this war, but they're like, who cares? Well, I am getting a slight coalition, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll be... I think you'll be alright. Okay, so we have the war goal. That's good. Now... Yeah, I think we should probably, like, focus on, like, just getting Muscovy out of the war and we'll, like, I don't know, white piece them or just take money or something. I think the best way for us to fight this would be to let Muscovy come to us, then wipe their armies and move mm -hmm. in. Good idea, yeah. So we'll play we'll play more defensively then. Mm-hmm. Let's us save a little bit of manpower. Because yeah. we can fight them on good terrain. I'm gonna embargo them. That's oh, the pretty mean. <laughs> the Florentine school. Huzzah. I like how embargo either does literally nothing or it cripples your economy. <laughs> There's like no in between. No, it's great. And it gives you a little power projection, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the power projection's like the main point, but Yeah. It's something. I mean, in terms of like the effects on the economy, no, it's, it's like it's yeah. yeah. Be careful of Gotland, it's powerful. It's egg shaped. What kind of egg? Okay. Even my egg was not Gotland shaped. If you make an egg that is Gotland shaped, I have serious questions. Oh, they've knocked, they've occupied Narva. But now they're leaving. Oh, I see a yeah, big, I was going to try and catch them on the fort, but... I see a big 30k stack that is coming south, so they might be trying to go to lift the siege I'm doing of Lublin. Probably. Oh, that's someone in Rilskos. No, nope, you're running away. Oh, and my leader is Craven. Oh, yeah, they're going to slap that... Poland? What's <laughs> Poland doing here? Poland has decided to, like, jump in front of the bullet for me. They're sacrificing themselves bravely. And there's Crimean tribe rebels just passing through. <laughs> what the It hell? happens. Oh, and there's a- there's an army- there's kind of an isolated army in Mogilev if you want to try and get I'm, them. I'm a little bit wary about that because I don't actually know where the rest of their army is. No, that's fair. I don't know I if it's the bait or not. It might be bait, yeah. Because they're not moving. If they're if we have like thirty thousand men next to them and they're not moving, they're like kind yeah. of baiting us a little. No, that's oh I see it. Yeah, I see their whole army. Yeah, okay, there it is. I see it. It does appear to be moving away though. So oh what are they doing? Where are they going? Who knows, honestly, but where are they going? But yeah. No, this is good, because this will also improve my development situation one of my mods asks who in your chat is making eggs shaped like gauntland yeah i i really have to know it might be let's see uh mata mata lion one of my mods actually <laughs> yeah i gotta unmod him now <laughs> yeah he's the one that actually is very very kind to make uh the fan discord which actually my mom tried to join it um, oh, it was, that's not good. It was so funny. I like she she messaged me. And she was like, "How can I join that Discord of yours?" And I'm like, "Mom, mom, please, <laughs> please don't, <laughs> please don't do this." Yeah, it's uh, oh, like my clergy. dad told me he watches my videos, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, he probably shouldn't do that." Yeah, my my mom watches <laughs> mine, but that's fine. It's like you know, I don't say too horrible things. I don't think she understands really what I'm doing, but, you know, it is what it is. Actually, I, I introduced one of my professors to EU4. <laughs> it was so funny. I mentioned it as just like, you know, in passing, and he was just like, Oh, what's that game you you talked about? It's a... What, what's that game? I think my son might be interested in it. And I was like, how old is your son? He says, oh, like, like 11, 12. And I'm like, okay, maybe wait a few years. Yeah, I don't think he's probably, probably a different game yeah. you mentioned. Maybe try Hoi 4 first. Oh, God. 
no, please. That's what I started oh, with. No. That's what I started with. So you know. I know, but like, <laughs> Hoi Four is never beating the like. The, the entire community is made of 13 year olds allegations you know like <laughs> they're never winning against those yeah it's it's crazy i i remember when i was trying to when i was trying to get um tno to work long time ago because it wasn't working mm -hmm. on my computer for some reason i was like look, looking at the wiki and the comments on that are like crazy like you know that this is a criticism of fascism right like it's not it's not pro-fascism right like you're some people are media illiterate yeah it would seem they have like fifty thousand people up here that's We're well they just moved there. one army down south uh i'm gonna regain some men then fight that yeah i'm just sitting next to this siege in lublin okay we got lublin that's good if we go sit on what is that poltava i played youth I played EU2 at age 13 without knowing any English even at the time. That's so funny. I love the idea of, like, a small child playing a game, like, completely unable to understand it. Yeah, when my when my friend, um, he did, like, a... Not, like, a student exchange. Well, I guess, like, an exchange. But he went to, he went to Japan in, like, the 11th mm. grade. And um, that was, like, right around when the Switch came out, maybe. Oh! So his switch is in Japanese, because <laughs> he bought one when it came out, mm. and there was just like a, there was like a shortage, right? So yeah. he had to he had to get a ticket for a lottery to allow you to buy it because there was a shortage. Mm. That's how they deal with shortages, I guess. That's that's it's like I guess inventive, a little strange, but I, I get why they would do that. Yeah, instead of like first first come first serve, they're like, all right, well, I mean, pick up your ticket, we're gonna draw one, and then you can buy it. Better than a Black Friday riot, I guess. Oh my god, Hungary is getting big. Yeah, I hear Black Friday is like really bad in the States. It is. It legitimately is. I, I like intentionally avoid Walmarts around that like whole time. It, it's, it's a great way to get like trampled or, you know, at least seriously hurt. Yeah, that's crazy. I have I mean, family we also... that do that though. I have family that like go and do like the Black Friday like, you know, circuit and they like intentionally do that they are uh -huh. crazy they are honestly crazy oh i have my great leader now hell yeah there's also black friday up here but like it's it's not that crazy like, i mean there are sales and they're really good sales but it's not like you know trample people to death kind of good <laughs> yeah it's, 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 you know that's very canadian <laughs> Yeah, if you ever like look up, uh, I think there's one video that went viral a few years back where like, like the like U.S. Black Friday sales versus Canada Black Friday sales, mm. and in Canada, it's just like people just walk through the front door and the employees are on each side like clapping and they're like, "Yeah, welcome to the Black Friday sale." People just walking in like normal. <laughs> I have my great leader, my my four five six. Oh, I need my ruler to die so I can get my good one. See. Oh, there's yes. The Discord link is in the description. Thank you. Thank you, Matt Lion. Oh. Well, RIP. Muscovy has 42,000? Oh my god. Where are they? 42,000 oh, uh, manpower. Oh, manpower. Jesus. I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm hurting for manpower right now. They're doing really anything, though. Like, they're kind of just about. Oh. Yeah. No, they're like weirdly being quite passive. I'm good on manpower, actually. Um, yeah, if you're really hurting, you could like try the request thing with Bohemia or, or Austria, whoever you're allied with. Austria or Hungary. Uh, I'll ask Austria. They got mad manpower. Mm, it's the the emperor buff. Uh -oh. Are they the emperor right now? No, Hess no, is the emperor. Not. Oh yeah. <laughs> good meme. Let's see. Okay, they have a big army next to mine. I'm a little uh, Well, they have oh, to okay. siege it down first. Okay, yeah, now let's go attack them. Oh, let me get a leader. Wait, I'm going in. <laughs> oh, I'm coming too. I got we'll a two star. Okay. I got a three, four, two, two. There you go. Ooh, that's oh, good. Maybe we can wipe them. I don't know where they're going down south here, but... Yeah, you follow them. I'm going to go up and try and, like, siege something up here. 
Can I ask for money from uh, Austria, maybe? Oh, nope, they're broke. Okay, I'll ask Hungary. Hey, Bohemia, you, uh, you good? Oh, Bohemia's at war with Lithuania, because they're in this war. I forgot. Yeah. Did they give me money? Didn't you call them in? I did. That I, that I did. Okay, just just checking. Just making sure. We'll get some money from Austria. <laughs> Muscovy. Oh, yeah, Muscovy. I see their death stack up there. That's not good. Not ideal. Well, they're attritioning, so that's fine. Yeah. I love when they just do that and they, like, put their whole army on, like... Like, it's way too many guys on a siege. Like, sometimes it makes sense, you know, to, like, make sure that they can't attack you, but other times it's just so silly. Mm -hmm. All right, next idea group. I'm thinking religious, just because I have to convert so much stuff. And because, you know, role play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Oh, I see their the army. Ooh. Where are they going? I have to dev a bunch of stuff because I'm about a cap on Diplo. <laughs> oh, I am actually near the Diplo cap as well. How much luck do I have? Yeah, I'm like 200 away from the cap. You have 15k on a siege in Russia? Because they will attack me if I don't. <laughs> they will murder me. Yeah. I, I get a lot of shit for keeping full stacks on sieges, but like... If I can't see the enemy, I'm going to assume they'll wipe yeah. me otherwise. Oh, I see. The, they have a 30k stack near me. Oh, I, but you're here. Okay. That's good. That's good. No, that's not oh, too Oh, I just bad. reached 40% professionalism. Nice. Uh, yeah, I need to start doing that, really, because I'm really bad at that. I think I have Because I have I some something. Oh, Embassy of the Orders. Oh, okay. So because we're allied. Oh, interesting. I get this embassy thing that gives me one yearly professionalism, which is crazy good. That is, that is amazing, yeah. Do I have something like that? Let's see. User free No, I get, um, favor growth. Wait, hold on. Uh. That's useful. In Leafland, in your capital. Oh. There's something called Embassy of the Orders, which should give you half oh. a... Yearly army professionalism. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's great. Province owner, one of the following must be true. Is Livonian order, was Livonian order, allied with Teutons. I am that. Give me it. I love how they they just integrated it so seamlessly. Like the, the two mission trees for co-op. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually really good. Even modifiers like that, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go towards Moscow. Maybe a little ambitious, but I'll be alright. Must and I just, just got... fell the medium. And I just got tech eight too. I will be okay. I'm gonna go up north and deal with them in Revel. Good idea. Good idea. What is that zero percent accepted culture? What is that? Oh, Bolton. I keep forgetting that I'm Bolton. Yeah, it's a yeah. culture that has, like, what, like, two provinces or something? Uh, just yeah. Riga. Well, I wonder, am I Balton or am I Prussian? I think, I think Prussian. I'm Prussian. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Prussian. Yeah. My leader is Lithuanian, though. So literally... That makes sense. But it's, it's like, the state culture is... is Bolton, but the leader isn't Bolton. Nobody in the country is Bolton. Like, what's going on here? Uh, maybe the courts are Bolton? Maybe. Ooh, I can get some innovation. Yes, good. I probably shouldn't have taken that right now, but I literally have nothing else to spend my uh, Diplo power on, so it's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I just got more manpower in True Faith Provinces. Yay. Feels good. Mm hmm I will... I want to switch. When can I switch? I can switch my focus next year. Okay. Ooh, the retrial of Joan of Arc. I really want to do a theocratic Orleans game at some point, but I think I have... I don't have the skill or patience yet to do that. I mean, the main problem with it is you have to wait until, like... 
super late into the yeah. game for it to actually take effect. Yeah, like Age of Absolutism, I think. Yeah, Which, it's like, just like I can't be bothered to do all that. So. I, might, I might like do basically what Kara did with the, the Norse one and just sort of be like, all right, I have the requirements. I'm just going to spawn the event. Okay, we have their capital. Mm -hmm. Let's... Okay. okay, this is good. This is really good. Can we get money out of them? Let's see. I would like money. Ideally. And I will also try and return some cores. Oh, yes. Uh, we can get. That might be a little bit expensive because they're a non co belligerent, I think. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, we'll just we'll just get them ready for the next war. We'll, um, let's see. Null treaties. Who are you? You? Oh, you're allied with Sweden. Sure. Oh. Hmm. Sweden? Is we Sweden a threat? No, Sweden has literally zero men and zero manpower. That's yeah, I mean, hilarious. if we break the alliance with Sweden, we could probably even just, like, attack them for money. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it's even worth it. Right. Um, <laughs> They're so broke, it's not worth stealing their money. No, it really isn't. Alright, we, we, we should get a little bit more war score, because currently we can only get, like, 400 ducats, and I saw that they have... Like, we can get at least 1,000, so I think let's just keep okay. keep on going a little bit. You know, maybe All just, right, that uh, works. Like, yeah, that kind of thing. All right. Maybe we can try to wipe this uh, this stack that's mm -hmm. isolated. Where? Oh. Uh, yeah. In Torpets. I will come on over for that. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. There you go. I'm going. <laughs> the Brandenburg stacks. Aw. We didn't get the. Uh, well, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow them, see where they go. I don't know where they're going. Oh, we have. Never mind. Something. They are like. They surrendered. Yeah, they surrendered, but it doesn't give us anything from Muscovy in particular. They're also low, though. I mean, if we can get full money out of Muscovy, then that's cool. No, we can't. We can't get full money. Unfortunately, not yet. Well, then we could keep going. We, uh, yeah, we have 10 more, 10 more war score and we can. So let's keep going. Mm -hmm. What's a little bit of, like, you know, who cares? It's fine. A little bit of war exhaustion's okay. I don't think we get immediate call for peace yet. No. Um, just unconditional surrender. Mm -hmm. Which, it, you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, now I have call for peace. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's call fine. for pizza. Call for pizza. <laughs> Or exhaustion is just a number. This is true. Yeah, but we'll just we'll just get like a little bit more like war score and then I think we'll be alright. Just go like there. Cause there there's two sieges going on in Polotsk and Peskov. It's it's going alright. You don't go mm -hmm. to war for destroying Muscovy, you go to war for ah. Uh... What? What did the Pope just do? What did the Pope just do? I got an, a thing and I closed it before I could see what it was. Yeah, I do that a lot. Castilian... What? Oh, Pope is just allied with, like, France. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't care. Pope moment? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Will they agree yet? Nope. A little more than they should. Because they're really, they're really hurting right now. I'm just sitting over here by this army, uh, this Brandenburg army. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to put 1k on there, so that that way, even if they, like, leave the siege, the it won't be, like, dead. I hate when they do that. Uh, I think we could probably peace now. Let's see. Oh, I have others, but... I hear the rebel noise. Let's see. They would give it... Yes, they would give it to us. Okay. All right. Can we get anything else? No, I don't think so. Can we force your money? Religion? War no. reps. Well, money, war reps. Yep. Pretty okay. good. And then from Lithuania, it's a little bit cursed, but it's probably a good idea to actually uh, take the entire border they have with Muscovy, because no, then that yeah. invalidates the guarantee. No, I, I agree. It's probably a good idea. All right. Um. 
slightly cursed, but if it works. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to return cores to Kiev. Because, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I agree. I'm going to just do, 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 do. What's a little bit of cursed? Wouldn't be an EU4 run without being slightly cursed. All right. <laughs> there. Oh, that's a lot worse than I than I thought it Behold would be. Behold, a hideous border. Hmm. And we have like Kiev in the middle. Can't say I like that very much. <laughs> no, it's not good. Where, where else do they have cores? Okay. They have. Oh, that's not a core. That's weird. But all right. So they're just long Kiev now. <laughs> I think I'll mm -hmm. actually give them the east. I, I might give them some of this just because it's kind of, I don't know. I don't have a lot of admin. Actually, yeah, that's a good shit. idea. Okay, and they don't have any, like, liberty desire at all. So I'm just going to give them some more stuff. I'll grant them that. Grant them that. And then I'll I need to find them. one other person to ally. But people don't really like me that much. I might try and be friends with, uh, I don't know, Kuln cool maybe? They're also a theocracy. They might be cool with me. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right. Yay. And now I think I could pay off all my loans. I can. Wonderful. There you go. And now I just have some corruption. Love corruption. All right. I'll just do like, yeah. We'll get like five per month. That's fine. Yeah, that's eight. Eight, that's good. Alright, so now I have a vassal. Mm -hmm. Big and... cube. Yes! Oh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Oh, oh do they like you enough to, um, to accept a conversion at this point? Let's see. They have... How much would that be? Uh, 50, because they're a heretic. 50, let's see. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't okay. Think, I don't think so. I could try, though. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, no, it works. That's there perfect. you go. That is perfect. And now I can put my missionaries to good use. We will convert the step. Cool, cool, cool. This would make my friend die because of bad borders. Good. If they can't handle the border gore, they need to get out of the kitchen. Can't handle the heat, then they shouldn't be cooking. Exactly. Alright, I'll do the... Where is it? Religion. Religion. Include subjects. And then do monthly cost. Let's do that. Why are there so many separatists and stuff? Poland? Yes. Why? But yeah, so now we have this. Cool. Ooh, and free extra manpower. Thank you. I love when the game just gives you free stuff. It's so nice. Yeah. I think the best country for, like, free stuff events would be Byzantium. Mm, yeah, no, they get they get a bunch of good stuff, right? Do that. Yeah, every now and then they'll just get like free admin, mm. just because it's like empire administration or something, and it's like here you go, have some stuff. Oh, I think they broke their alliance with Sweden, actually. I don't know why, but they did. That's fun. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go and sit and drill. With my amazing leader. 3422. Two. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Great. And then what else? I think. Oh, I actually have two missionaries. I didn't realize. Let me go and convert some stuff. Yay. Hungary will look like a slug. Oh, Hungary's, um. 
Uh oh. Hey, uh, I whoop. <laughs> uh, what happened here? I'm war with Serbia. Mm. Oh, okay. That's bad. That's really bad. They're allied with Bohemia, and they're in the war together with them. <laughs> the yeah, cursed... even if I became defender, they... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do anything about that. The cursed Bohemian Ottoman alliance. What is this, 1618? When there was actually an attempt for Bohemia to ally with the Ottomans. Oh yeah, okay. But I'm missing the context no, on that it was, one. it was right at the beginning of the Thirty Years' War. They were sending envoys basically out to everyone, like, please, we're going to get murdered by the Habsburgs otherwise. And so they actually sent, like, a thing to the Ottomans. And actually, I think a Ottoman, like, I don't know, diplomat or something arrived in Prague and was like, yes, the Sultan will be here, we will help. And then they didn't. And then the Bohemians got crushed. Damn. Yeah. Okay, Kiev is looking looking good. I am. They're in March. That makes sense. That makes sense. That sucks, though. I want to integrate them eventually. I think, yeah. So my next priority... Polotskian Separatists. No, that's not it. It's... Oh, Livonian, Lithuanian Separatists. Guess we're not drilling, then. Okay. Oh, there we are. Cool. I think my next war is going to be against Muscovy again. I'm going to try and get some more of Novgorod's cores back, because that'd be cool. But for yeah, now, that would I, definitely be good. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to chill a little bit, I think. Build up my economy. Get mm -hmm. more boats. Yeah, I'm, I'm going like cringe multiplayer strats. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't, I don't play enough multiplayer to really know the, the good strats and stuff. Uh, to be honest, neither do I. I think the last time I played multiplayer was like over a year and a half ago. But mm. just from what people tell me, basically <laughs> like the multiplayer strats. Mm, I see. Which is like every province is one ten ten, <laughs> And you build very specific buildings. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I saw a flowchart somebody ma made. Oh, probably, yeah, probably a good idea to stab up. I'll do it. Ooh, colonialism. That's awkward. I just dev a whole lot. <laughs> Maybe the next pope will be generous enough to give us some, uh, some institution. Institution. Institution doko. <laughs> oh my god, it's in... Portugal, we're never going to get it. Yeah, I mean, unless it goes to Lisboa, because that's a cardinal, and if they mm. put on the cardinal thing, then... Uh, mm. I only have one cardinal? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait. Seriously, I have, I have one cardinal. I have one, and then I also have one in Riga. Yeah, the Riga one will be good. Mm -hmm. Man, I have one... I don't even have a cardinal in Marienburg, which is like 28 dev. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Let's see. Our, okay, but like, Konigsberg, 10%, Marienburg, 10%, Kalish, 9%. So you might, yeah. you'll probably get the next Cardinal somewhere. Hopefully, unless it goes to London. I'm going to be so angry. <laughs> Ooh, a court painter. I will do that, yes. Give me free stab. I should be able to uh, finish a mission. Let's go. Yay. Yeah, right now I'm doing all right, luckily. Oh, wait, is Protestantism enabled? No? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, I need to just ally the Pope. Okay. We be friends? No. No, you don't want to be friends. Okay. Well, I'll improve Monastic Brewery is my favorite reform. Are you, did you get it? Yeah. Oh. I'm now a Trappist Order. I don't know what that means. That is okay. weird. Okay. Thought I'd be a Divine Brewery, but all right. Divine Brewery. That, that is like a reform or something, something really? like that. Really? I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. That's funny. Ooh, I can get... Okay, I'll check up. Or, um, get an idea. Never mind. I can't words. How many relations do I have? Too many. I think I'm just going to ally the Pope for like a month and then 
break a lance. But yeah. No, that one's actually a pretty good one, especially if you have, like, wheat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have quite a bit of wheat. And livestock, I think. Wait, do I have wheat? I might be lying. I don't know. No, you do. I do have wheat. Okay, you good. You have a whole good. bunch, actually. That's really good. There's a bunch of livestock in, in um, Livonia, though, so I, I also might go that way. Mm-hmm. Once I get to that tier. Let's see, is that the next one? I can tell that. Yes, it is. Okay. I can get that soon, then. Nice. <laughs> Brewing holy water. Love monastic breweries. Like the goods produced, it's just, it's it's too powerful. Just free goods produced, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you get to be beer man. True. That's the real good part is that you get to be a funny name. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like a there's like a weird specific name you can get as like for your for your dude for your ruler. That's monastic brewery. I don't remember what it is though. It's like high brewer or something. I I, I I do know what you're talking about though. Yeah, my I don't know why he's called a Trappist. Maybe I have to be like an empire. I don't know. Have the name change. <laughs> All right. I'll get it one day. Yeah. Or might have yeah, something like that. Holy cows. <laughs> <laughs> We love that. Um, all right. I think I will... Can I ally the Pope? Pope, I'm literally so cool. Let me be your friend. Hesse... Yeah, Hesse is the Emperor. Why? I don't know. But that's how it is. I think Austria might have... Uh, nope, never mind. They don't have a, a female heir. I don't know. Okay, I have so much. I'm not gonna do religious right now just because I have so many, like, I need more admin. So I think I'll do, like, I could do in- My paneling has fallen off the wall. I'm not sure. I think I could probably do, like, I don't know. Could I get, hmm, maybe influence. Influence ideas? Yeah, because I have vassals. Mm. I'll do that. And it gets me more money, too. Why not? Yeah. More in more income from vassals. That's good. I think Diplo ideas might be a decent idea. I mean, he yeah. already took influence, which is yeah, fine. Yeah. The Pope doesn't know my dark intentions. Yes, yes. <laughs> what do you mean, dark intentions? We're just doing some crusading things. Yeah, we're being... Just a couple of crusaders. We're good. We're good. We would I'll, never attack fellow Catholics, ever. I'll guarantee him to. Oh, and there's rebels. That is too many for them to deal with. I guess I have to go deal with that now. <laughs> yeah, my aggressive expansion is still massive. Yeah. Uh, the consequences of vassalizing an elector. Yeah. That just means it's time to chill for a while. Mm-hmm. I need to go onto my main account. Oh, um, check out what um Kiev's ruler's uh like dynasty is. Yeah, I've seen that joke a lot. It happens a lot on the Grand subreddit Master people. Grandmaster Vladimir the Fifth Slutsky. A four six two, <laughs> diplomatic indeed. <laughs> See, this is, it's a subversion of the trope, because normally the trope is that, like, you know, you, you rule, like, like, it's a, a female ruler that, like, rules through, like, seduction and diplomacy. No, it's this man. He is the most seductive man ever. The Giga Chad. Mm-hmm, exactly. All right, I'm actually making decent money. Oh, no, no, never mind, I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I am. I keep getting and then losing my money. I'll ally the Pope quickly for the mission. Yay. Free 50 papal influence. And then I will use that to, I don't know. 
I'll do like church tax, I guess. Or no, I'll just invest it into getting the next Pope I want him. And then I will break my alliance with the Pope because I don't actually care about him. Wow. Tell me that as a Catholic, you don't like the Pope? No. Unbelievable. Not particularly. He's just a means to an end. You can't. Wow, that's heresy. Might have to arrest you for that. What's next? You're going to think that the sun's the center of the solar system? Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Let's see, where is it? Indebted to the burgers. And then we'll pay them off. Now I have some money, though, so I will invest in the economy. Use my Keynesian economics. Ooh, I've surpassed Venice in economy. Nice. Well, they're being invaded, so I guess that's not much of, a, of an accomplishment, but... It's something. I don't really have any good, like, stuff to, to, uh, like to put a uh, workshop in. Yeah, let's see. Uh, did you core and state your new stuff? I didn't get much new stuff. I gave it all to Kiev. Actually, oh, I yeah, did... I was referring to the Omogus feat, but yeah. Oh, I should I should do that. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. State the Omogus feat. Omogus has been stated. Let's go. Let's see, do I have, can I lower, I can't, unfortunately, lower any of the stuff. And I have Polotsky and Separatists again. Alright. Be careful, Corbett and his God-given right to brew alcohol is going to get you and your people drunk. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Oh no. I'm just, I'm just a guy doing a bit of, a bit of brewing. Business. Yeah. A little bit of business. Oh, remember to remove the Pope's guarantee. Thank you. This is why, see, this is actually why I have in my, like, cat rules that you're allowed to backseat because I'm dumb and I forget these things. <laughs> I'm kind of neutral on backseating because, like, half the time it'll be decent advice. <laughs> then the other half of the time, it's like the worst thing I've ever oh, seen with my own two yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's like one guy. A lot of one guys. Very a cool. lot of one Ooh. guys. Somebody's saying it's cool that I have an Utrecht video because nobody's ever seen them play them. That's, yeah. I love Utrecht. Fair enough. It's really fun. It's actually, I think, I think it's, I personally think it's actually a bit easier than Holland. Because with the new Burgundian inheritance stuff. Because you pretty commonly, like, don't get, like, the, the bad stuff where, like, Austria or Spain will take it. I have had really bad luck, though, and one time I was, like, I was Portugal, I was fighting Spain, and they got the a very, like, what is it, a very strategic marriage, and so they got all of the low countries, and then my ally France got distracted and decided to just fight them in the low countries instead of helping me. Huh. Yeah, E for AI. Love you for AI. Yep. Sweden is still having a very hard time, it would seem. They have, like, 8k soldiers. Yeah, they just lost Scandaland. Oh, they did? Oof. I see that, yeah. Reconquered by the Danes. Yeah. Ooh, I can get Acts of Uniformity. That's not good. I wonder if Denmark has a... Uh, never mind. I thought they might have, a, you know, retake the crown kind of CB, restoration of mm. Union. I don't think so. I think it would have, like expired by now probably just because it's mm -hmm. been a while but yeah. yeah i think if they lose it they only get it a little bit and then gone yeah let's see okay our truce with muscovy ends in three years they are rather strong though i will say well i've been getting stronger so that's good I will also, um, let's see, how many favors do I, okay, I have good favors with Austria, um, and Bohemia, so I think I could probably get them both, and, and they, uh, Austria rivals Muskie, so I think I could probably get them in, maybe, it'd be really cool. Uh, probably, I mean, you can check by. Oh, it's distant war. Looking in. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah. Hate it. Distant War is so inconsistent. I hate it. It is. It's really dumb. No, it's 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 ridiculous. I think the way they calculate distances in general is kind of silly. Mm -hmm. Like you'll be able to to like reach for colonial distance. Like you'll be able to reach like Puerto Rico, but not like Brazil. And it's like that's huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 kind of silly, but you know, that's that's EU four. Pretty much. Yeah, we love a little bit of EU four being really scuffed. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait for EU five to be more scuffed. Me too. That's gonna be fun. So I have I have these I have these acoustic panels on my wall because you know mm -hmm. I like to not have echo even though I yeah. kind of do, I think. Um, but I, I also don't like to be too loud for, like, neighbors and stuff. So I have these acoustic panels. And I have them, you know, just about the room. And I have this one panel that has decided it make it will make uh, its life mission to be, like, my enemy. It always falls off the wall. Most of them are stuck on with, like, three to five pieces of, like, sticky, like, tape. Like, double-sided tape. This one mm -hmm. has eight, and it keeps falling off. And it's not a problem with the wall, either, because there are two next to it with only three that are fine. And it's also not falling off the wall, it's falling off the sticky parts. So I have no idea why it's like this. It just hates me. Okay. It is. It has been useful, though. One time it fell uh, at, like, I don't know, like 9 a.m., and I was like, oh, what the... And I, like, got woken up by it. And I was like, oh, wait, my alarm didn't go off. Shoot, I need to be awake. Thank you, thing falling off the wall. <laughs> yeah, my alarm in my in the morning is usually my cat. Mm. Yeah. Because, is, uh... That's a good one. Yeah. She will, uh, I, I'm not even joking, she will shake the door. <laughs> like, she'll put her paw underneath it, put her claws into the bottom of the door and pull, which, like, vibrates it really loudly. Wow, that's that's funny. Yeah, slight mm -hmm. nuisance, but in the morning it works out. <laughs> have you tried using command strips? That's what I have. I basically have command strips on the back of it. I have eight. I have no. I have seven. I can't count. And it does not. It just does not work. Ooh, free manpower. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I still have to call PayPal, because I need to turn on that thing that's like, mini transactions or whatever it's called, so that mm -hmm. they don't take like, half of every $1 tip that I get. Because yeah. people have actually been tipping, it's been very, very cool. But, like, somebody tipped $1, and of that, 52 cents went to PayPal. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to call them, but I have to call them. It's, you know, emailing's like, whatever, that'd be fine, but it's... Calling, that's difficult. Anything that forces you to call them is like, yeah, okay. I'd rather just you take my money. It's a, less of an inconvenience. It's like what they do with gym memberships, at least around here. You have to, like, go in mm. personally to cancel your membership, and it's like, I... Okay, alright then. <laughs> yeah, no... It's it's awful. Actually, I have been. I, I never used to experience like sort of uh, the the like difficulty with emails, like in the past. But for some reason, like emailing other like YouTubers and stuff and being like trying to reach out, that is terrifying to me. Oh really? Yeah. I'm so. For me, it's like the exact opposite. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of terrified, especially because like you know I'm still pretty small, and. Hmm. I don't know, it's like, okay, is this is this person, you know, like, what is the ratio of, of like, I don't know, subscriber counts? Will they just ignore me? <laughs> Which I know is not a realistic way to think about it, but it is how I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably more about, I mean, it certainly has something to do with, like, subscriber counts, but mm -hmm. just, like, if they know your name, then they'll, they're more yeah. likely to respond. Yeah. What I've been doing, though, is if I need to send an email, I will schedule it for, like, two days in the future. So that way I forget about it by the time it sends. And I don't have to, like, stress over pressing the send button. <laughs> okay, now that's... that's something... that's something special. <laughs> yeah. It's a... yeah, no. 
I don't know. I think it's it's just kind of terrifying because I still really think of myself as like more of a fan than like a fellow YouTuber. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, oh man. Because, you know, if a fan uses like your email to be like, hello, you seem cool. That, that's kind of annoying, you know. Like it's not what it's for. It's, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it's it's it's. I'm sure I'll get over it because it's only been a month, but it was it was very strange. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> do you know if I um if I were to like integrate Brandenburg, do I get the electorate? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. I'm I'm not really sure. I should probably should probably uh, look that up because <laughs> yeah. I just started integrating them, and I'm like, wait a second. You might, but it's there's I think cause there's a thing that's like purchase the electorate. Yeah. You may need to do that. Or transfer the electorate. I just I really don't want to do that. But because that's six thousand ducats to purchase the electorate. That is so incredibly expensive. It's like I don't make that kind of money. That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Um I could try and get a bunch of trust with Hesse, who's the current emperor, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. People in chat are saying probably no. Probably no. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So I guess I should probably stop integrating them then. Yeah. Which I sucks. Know. I would still look it up because chat can often one guy. True. Someone in my chat also said they don't think so though, which is... Mm. Yeah, that's not very reassuring. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just waiting now for this truce with Muscovy to end. Please let me own more of your stuff. What the? Oh, they vassalized okay. Odeyev. I guess I'll ally the current emperor. Oh, hey, actually, they have not that many soldiers. I think I'll improve my army as well, because it's kind of small still. So I just need to get 80 trusts with Hesse in the next, uh, how long is that? Six years. That's not going to happen. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. All right. I guess I'll cancel the annexation right now. That's painful. I just spent a few points on that. Oh, well. <laughs> People in my chat are describing jazz as it's like persona music. <laughs> Which, True, uh, fair. I don't know what... I've, I've heard of Persona, but I have literally no concept of what it is. Uh, Persona is a JRPG, story-driven... Uh, it also has an interesting, like, skill system where, like, during the day your character will, like, attend school or, like, work and stuff and, like, level up skills, but at night they'll, like, go and do hmm. the actual dungeon-crawling JRPG thing. Interesting. That's weird. And it has immaculate vibes. It's really good. How do they have time? That's my question. Because I, when I was in high school, I had like <laughs> six hours of homework a day. Like it's anime. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's always my question. In like those like high school ish animes, where it's like, when are they doing homework? Because clearly it's not right now. Yeah. They're just all failing school. Same with Relatable. Like, um, same with like cyberpunk. Uh, the the it was like you are in school. How are you? Like I get you know. Like how how are you? How do you have any time to do like this stuff? Like the uh, cyberpunk, like the new show. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he dropped out, didn't he? He does, but at the start, like he's still like doing stuff. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it. All those kinds of all those kinds of shows, they forget. Yeah, that. like Bleach. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah. That's it's... the big one for me, cause yeah, he's in high school, but he's like also. Yeah. Also, you can date your teacher, which is weird. Yeah, that too. There's also that. That's not. That's not accurate. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's what we call illegal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sweden is now allied with um with Muscovy again. 
Uh, I mean, they got 7,000 yeah. people. With their, yeah, tiny little army. All right. Um... Ooh, I can I'm get the next... I can get ready when you are. I got the next Miltech. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I have 35,000 manpower. I have a tech on them. I'm going to get uh, Bohemia in as well, I think. Bohemia, will you will you be will you be joining us today? I'll ask Austria too. I don't think they will though. Do you could um, try and use favors to ask Bohemia to prepare for war. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. uh, I gotcha. I can get okay. I can get Austria. I can get um, Bohemia though. That's all right. We still like super outnumber them. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get. Reconquest for home. All right, let's go. All right, they have 32,000 men. Uh, I guess same thing as before, lure them out a little. Yeah. Yeah, they'll through. probably end up in, in Kiev. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jazz says plot homework. The homework doesn't exist until it's needed. True. Exactly. No, that's too true. Alright, let's see. Oh, and there's my fridge. Uh, oh, yeah, next week, actually, I'm going to be doing um, King of the Castle. Is that a game? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of it. Oh, it's so fun. Um, I've seen, I think, Lath did it on stream, like, a week or so ago. I don't know. But it was it was really fun. It was um it's basically like sort of medieval politics jackbox. Okay. Like you just there's a URL, you type your um you type the code in and then you like join as a noble and everybody like the, the person hosting is the king. And oh, okay. Yeah, and so everybody's like plotting against each other and the king. It's it's really fun. Um Yeah, no, it's 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 great. I highly recommend it. It's also very good for like streaming, especially on Twitch. They have like integration with that. So like, I think with a normal game, you can only have a maximum of 24 people, but on Twitch, you can have okay. infinite. Ooh, okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's just a really cool game. But yeah. Uh, I will consider it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like stop by, stop by on Tuesday if you have time. Check it out. Uh, like this upcoming Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Uh, I have a midterm on that oh, Tuesday, so good luck. unfortunately. <laughs> good luck, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I it guess, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I just finished all my midterms, so I'm I'm doing I'm doing well. I have one more actually. I have I have to write about uh, Thomas Aquinas, but that's about it. Oomst. Uh He was the guy that figured out transubstantiation. Ah, uh, yes, that that thing. I uh, hmm. Yep. Yeah. The the, mm -hmm. the body and blood of Christ becomes like like the bread becomes like the actual body. That guy, the guy that the Calvinists really hate. Can't say I'm all too familiar with that. No, transubstantiation is very strange. In the Middle Ages, they were like, "Wait a minute, so this bread is becoming Jesus, but why does it still look like bread?" <laughs> and so then there was a bunch of th okay. Hold on, wait, hold on. Look at France. Hmm. That's a big France. Yeah, they kind of um own all of like that area. Okay. Yep, they just conquered that. They just took that. Mega France. Okay. Normal. Also, uh, earlier I stack wiped half the Muscovite army. Nice, nice. But I don't, I don't, I don't think I did enough. I have to go back and do it again. Very good. Yes. Yeah. This is not going poorly, though. That's nice. Famous last words, but... Mm -hmm. Could be worse. Well, at least we grabbed the war goal. That's a good start. Yeah, I'm gonna go and actually sit on Viborg. Try and get Sweden out. And because I have the naval advantage there. Mm-hmm. I don't have enough of a naval advantage, though, clearly. When do we get soldiers' households? Uh, like 14, I think, right? 
Let's Damn, see. that is far away. Yeah, 15. <laughs> Even farther. Tragic. Wait, if Fred is Jesus and I love Fred, am I a cannibal? That was kind of the problem that they were trying to solve. It requires an understanding of Aristotelian metaphysics, though, which I don't understand enough to say anything about. I, th I remember taking uh, one philosophy class that maybe covered that, but I don't remember anything from it. It's weird. It's really weird. And, like, it's, it's complicated metaphysical stuff. I'm no good at that kind of stuff, like philosophy and metaphysics, because I'm like, but what is it mm -hmm. yeah philosophy goes over my head most mm -hmm. of the time yeah let's see okay we're already winning actually i'm pretty pretty handily uh -oh. i did take a human rights philosophy course though that was oh, pretty all right interesting. i think you're gonna oh another I'm running away okay well just got that stack wipe feels good <laughs> the human Ooh, nice human rights is a interesting interesting subject I may try to take some some classes on that at some point. I don't know. Oh. My schedule for the next year is absolutely packed. <laughs> which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, my my schedule used to be like super packed. I started taking fewer courses though, because too packed is like, well, I wanna like yeah. not fail courses, so <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh I'm, I'm a monastic brewery as well. I am now Oh, it didn't give me the unique title. I'm still Landmeister Egg the Great von Mark. Tragic. Yeah. Maybe you have to be like a regular theocracy and not like a... Uh... Yeah, because I'm a monastic order. Yeah. Whereas you are a Teutonic bishopric. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Sweden is low. Maybe I could get a province from them, actually. That'd be cool. Yes, I can! Oh, ho And some money. Right. Province. Cool. And that's Viborg, which is pretty good. Finally, we can unironically ask, are you winning, Saf? Yes! Yes, we're winning! <laughs> we are very much winning. We're doing actually really well. What is my estate agenda? Because I know it's like, what is it? Novgorod owns... Oh, I have to integrate them. Shoot, I may have uh, done that poorly. Oopsies. Hmm. <laughs> I thought it was to get, make them bigger. Oops. That's fine. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little whoopsie. It'll be fine. It's only like, what, five? Yeah, five equilibrium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'll be okay. Alright, and then I'll send the galleys back home. Oh, and I got the blow annexation cost down. That's good. For the thing I'm not doing yet. Oops. Alright. So what provinces do they actually want me to get? Oh, just 20. Okay. Just 20? Just... 20. It doesn't say any in particular. In all of Russia? Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, did you get to pick which path you're going down yet? Yes, I did. I, I'm doing okay. the Crusader one. Good. That one ends very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. It's. I don't know if we'll get there, but I know that it has the, the crazy, like, Crusading Empire one. Yeah, it gives you militarism. Yeah, no, that one's crazy. Actually, I, did you see they're changing militarism for Prussia in um the next uh, patch? Mm -hmm. They're making it, uh, I think it's weaker to start with, and then it upgrades to become powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Better than the regular. Yeah, and there's like new interactions with it too. They have a lot of new government mm -hmm. interactions, which is cool, I guess. Yeah, I'm really happy with all the, the new free stuff they're giving out. Yeah, that too. It's, it's always nice when they do that, because, I don't know... There's so much locked behind DLC. Excuse yeah. Me. I have a friend that just got um just got the game and they're like, How do I do any of the things that I saw people doing? And I'm like, I don't know how to tell you this. Yeah. You literally can't unless you pay like two hundred dollars. I I mean, this is like five dollars a month. 
There's that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, at first I remember I was very like skeptical of that because I don't like subscription models in general, but I was now I'm like, okay, yeah, no, this is the only way you can make this game more accessible. Yeah, it really is. It's kind of a... Mm -hmm. Kind of a big thing with these kind of games. Yeah. Which, speaking of, the big like DLC package is uh sixty percent off right now. So it is. That makes it only like two hundred dollars yeah, instead of five. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's 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 accessible. It's fine. It's basically free. <laughs> Yeah. Apparently they increased the price like really, really badly uh, in Turkey recently. Oh, yeah. And Are now it costs really... like a month wage or something to get uh, like the, I don't, I don't know if it's like a base game or something. It was crazy. Oh my God, that is, yeah. No, the currency conversion stuff is difficult. I know on like YouTube, there's a whole thing where people will like set their region to Argentina so that they can use Argentine pesos, which are like the cheapest super chats in the world. Hmm. Which yeah, that so, makes sense. That's so silly. Like, it, it, I get, I get why, but it's also just ridiculous. Yeah. We have to do. Ooh, another mission. What mission? Although is I guess it's, I guess in a lot of cases it's better than just like charging the international price. Yeah, yeah, because then it's like completely inaccessible. Mhm. Mm Let's see. Establish the state diet. What the? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Someone in chat said, why did Saffron call me out like that for the, uh, for swapping the super chat? <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's taking advantage of a really bad economy, which is not the best thing to be doing, but it is also kind of, like, hilarious that that is a thing you can do. Like, welcome to the modern age, where you can switch the country you're super chatting in for, like, $12 red super chats. Yeah. I wonder if that changes the ratio that the, uh, that the streamer gets. I mean, I think they probably just get, like, you know, like, 12... They only get, like, what, $8 from that or something? Yeah, probably. Let's see, uh, do you know what the ratio is for uh, for super chats? I think it's. I'm pretty sure YouTube is like takes thirty percent of it, but I'm not sure yet. Okay. I don't have those. <laughs> um, but I think it's thirty percent. And then for like the agency ones, they they probably take like another thirty or so percent. So it's just yeah, they get nothing. Yeah, corporate streamers and the and the relationship between you know the YouTube. Taking their money and then the the company taking their money, it's like, I feel kind of bad. And then there's the tax on top of that as well. Yeah. It, it's, it's rough out there. Someone can give you like $10 and you receive like $2 in total from it. Yeah, honestly. It's, it's really like that, yeah. Let's see. I will do... Give stuff to Novgorod. Let me... I'm just checking out peace deal stuff. Mm-hmm. Kulm, Luki, no, no, no. There's, they have so many provinces that are like out in the middle of nowhere that I don't want them yeah. to have because then they won't be connected. We'll see if you can reconquest everything. Yeah. It might be. And then, like, yeah, you just like select everything possible, and then after that, you deselect some things. If you can't, you know, get everything. Oh, that just sack wiped. I think that's... Oh, not the rest of their army. I guess they hired more mercs. That was like 17k that I just sack wiped. They still have 25k. Okay. Yeah, I can get most of it. But some of it I will legitimately just need to take and give to them. Which is a little unfortunate, but oh well. Um, do that, and then, put, like, Biscop. Alright. I'll take the money. Actually, yeah, I don't think war reps are really going to be worth it anymore, but we almost have full money, too, so. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, honestly, I think we can probably wrap that up soon. Which is quite nice. Ah, attrition, damn it. <laughs> Just yep. followed you onto that fort, <laughs> made 50,000 people. Oh, we did surrender. Or no. Well, uh, I did that actually. But yeah, okay, I can just take stuff. Da, 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 I'm just looking. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna end the war. Okay. Now the borders are even worse. Wow, that is horrifying. Because Novgorod lost a bunch of claims and cores and stuff. I'm just gonna give it to them. Though, because I don't feel like coring all of this. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, that's pretty cursed. <laughs> where is Novgorod here? I will give you Grant Province, Olenetsk, and that, and that. I'm keeping Viborg, though. They can't have that. That's fair. It's my weird little fort province thing. Is it? It's not a good province to have, but I'm keeping it anyway, because so help me God, I want it. Oh, wait, Fair I enough. I can't embargo them anymore because I can't rival them, I don't think. Or who is that? Oh, Sweden. It's. I've surpassed the Swedes. Revoke embargo. Oh, yeah. Sweden has been on the on the decline for a while now. Yeah, they're not doing too well. Um, I need a new rival, actually. I can do. I'm allies, or I'm friendly with all of those. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just do Hungary. All right, Accord Viborg. I failed my estate agenda, but I don't really care. Yeah, Cursed Novgorod, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what do the burgers want? Have a fleet larger or equal to Hungary? Sure, why not? <laughs> At least you have a coastline to do that with. That coastline is very tiny. Yeah, it's what, like, what, one, two, or one, two, three provinces. Yeah. Mm. Little yeah. coastline. Yep. Actually, yeah. I have a fourth in Stetten. And Ooh. a fifth in Stargard. Oh, yeah, the other little bit of coastline. Let's see. I think I'm going to take Pomerania, though. <laughs> that'll, that'll be good. Uh, let's see. How many... What's the engagement with? It's 25? All right, so I can do 21. Oh yeah, they started giving us the institution, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, they did. Woohoo. That's nice. Okay. So I don't really feel like deving that. <laughs> does, Mos does Muscovy even own Moscow? Yes, they do, unfortunately. I do for now still. Where is it? Here it is. Muscovy has just become like wide in a really weird way. Like what is this? Wide Muscovy. I have to plug my phone in. I use it to read chat. Oh yeah. No, I do that too. Uh, I started doing that. But my phone is like my phone is old, old. Like I have mm. a, I have a Samsung Galaxy S7. Mm. Yeah, I have, I have an iPhone SE like two, so it's pretty old and it doesn't work, but it's not that old. That is rather ancient. All right, I'm gonna start yeah. annexing them. Like I got mine for I don't even I don't remember. I think it was like eighty bucks. Oh, wow. Re refurbished, and it's been working for like four years, and I'm like, okay, I mean. <laughs> No complaints, really. Oh no, my heir is dead. Whatever will I do? Ah. Uh... No, I get free money. Oh, that guy's not as good. That's kind of sad. I just want a Diplorap advisor. Someone said I'm using smoke signals to read chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that old. I love the idea of that. Just like have a guy outside on like their phone and then just like, okay. And then they like wave a blanket around on this on a campfire. That'd be mm -hmm. so funny. Ooh, coffee boom. 
I love coffee. A, I have a Jewish advisor. Except I'm lying, I don't like coffee. I love coffee, honestly. I normally my, my dining hall at school like provides shitty coffee, so I've been drinking that. But now that it's not open, I don't have that to drink, so I'm just like, well shit. I guess I'll make my own. And it's much better, but it also costs more money. Mm-hmm. Or actually, no, it probably costs less money overall, because, you know, tuition. But mm -hmm. it's 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 fine. It's whatever. <laughs> that's not real money, that's debt. <laughs> Okay, that reminds me, like, one of my friends says, like, if you have cash, you don't actually have cash. Like, you don't actually have money. Because, like, if, when you spend cash, you don't see the number in your bank account go down. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I got, I got a friend groceries, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna, like, get fake money for this that I can't spend anywhere. <laughs> That's how it feels like when I'm using cash. Yeah. It's, it's like Monopoly money. Yeah, exactly. Especially age. here in Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you have those like weird paper, like plastic stuff. Yeah, they're uh, plastic notes. That's so weird to me. I get why. Well, though. they don't get, they don't get, you know, soggy or anything. Yeah, no, like dollars, it preserves the currency for longer. Dollars here suck. I, I, every now and then they try to like switch to dollar coins and then they do it really poorly and people make a bunch of money basically scamming the government and it's kind of funny but not necessarily good for the goal <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah no it's it's because the, when they did it they basically offered it with like free shipping and um like equal to the value so you could buy like a hundred dollars of one dollar coins and it would cost you a hundred dollars exactly and you know, that's a great idea, except that then people used, like, their credit cards to buy it, and then they just put it back in their bank account, and then they would, like, make points, like, credit card points. Mm hmm So, that happened. It didn't It didn't work exactly uh, for them, because then it was just back in the bank, and that's useless. Yeah. All right, I'll put that there. Let's see. Um, I don't care. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I think I'll make some barracks. Those are always good to have. Mm hmm. I just forget to just do finish buildings. making. Uh, I just made my first three one ten ten provinces. Mm. Gotta do the, yeah, gotta do the meta. Yeah, my <laughs> filthy MP meta. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just did something dumb. I put my troops on drilling, and now I have rebels that I need to deal with in like a month. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, did I just get another cardinal? No, wait, what? Oh, I have, um... The oh, the one in Polachian. Yeah, they're okay. The institution Makes sense. has appeared. Huzzah. At last. Wait, did someone else just get a cardinal? I think they did. I'll put the edict on. Let's see. Advancement edict. I should actually change my edicts, because I don't think they're doing what I want them to right now. Put protect trade here. Oh, I could also do protect trade here. Yeah. Oh, I love having actual mana for ideas. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Good shit. Hmm, I might put on religious society, which is something I usually avoid. What is that? Oh, yeah, uh, religious dude. culture. The, uh... The clergy thing you can put yeah. on. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Because in, in every province, that's either well Germanic or it's going to end up being Polish too, because I accepted that. Uh, it's going to give me more tax production and manpower. I don't think I can do that because that would put me... Um, <laughs> that would give them 100% influence, which is not what I want. Mm-hmm. 
80 percent clergy power uh -huh. it'll be fine uh yeah that's fine that's totally fine all right this is going well though i think i've mostly converted everything that i can so there's that that's good yeah actually oh my god i've converted all of of kiev this is good there you go now I'm slowly... i should give you yeah. uh oh how about novgorod because you gave them a lot of provinces are they loyal they are they're very loyal actually Oh, yeah. No, they're so loyal. I will enforce religion. Ah, get Catholic. <laughs> Catholicified. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay. So that'll happen. That That's good. That's pretty good. I'm actually quite large now. Mm-hmm. What is my, what is my, like, dev and stuff? I have... Like, my score is, like, 292, so I have 169 dev, personally. Nice. And, like, another, like, 200 or so through subjects. So that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What is Riga doing? Because I don't think Riga's really pulling their weight. It looks like they've been deving a little bit. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed, though, with them. SMH. Riga, get good. I think you need to help them get good. I think so, yeah. Let's see. Um, I'm just looking at their missions and stuff. Reconquer Voldora. Oh, okay. Develop Niva. Found Arkhunvilsk. I'll do that for you, yeah. I'll do, um, where is that? Is that here? I'll do that, yeah, sure. Helping out, helping out Novgorod, too. And what is, what are Riga's missions? What do they need? Punish the Teutonic Order? <laughs> no. Hmm, wait a Subjugate minute. Subjugate the Livonians? Also no. I think it's yeah. something in the bottom right they have. Yeah, it is. It's, is the capital of Riga is Regan Core. Highest level of fort possible. Has a temple or cathedral, has a marketplace, has a workshop, and has a barracks. So which one don't they have? Oh, it's because they don't have enough dev in the in this province. Mm. There, I will help them out a little. Get your next building. Ooh, oh, that's good. I'm gonna only reform the army. Poland joined the HRE. What the fuck? Because <laughs> Bohemia. Oh. <laughs> just like asked for them to be brought in that's so weird i hate it when hre just has like weird little bits like also bologna the one place in the in italy that doesn't start in the hre is now in the hre as well as a free city <laughs> look at that that's it's a so, good meme that's so silly a little bit cursed yeah i was actually i was watching uh uh, uh cleo aita um mm -hmm. playing uh, she, I think it was Florence yesterday, and she just kept getting stymied by Bologna because they kept joining the HRE, and then Austria <laughs> was angry with her. It was kind of hilarious because she did, like, 50 restarts. And I'm just like, I'm amazed that you're... Like, these seem like fine games, but I don't know. I guess when you're at that level of play, you need everything to go perfectly, or else it goes really badly. Yeah. The more you get into the game, the more the perfectionism sets in and everything has to be perfect for yeah. your run to work out. Yeah, no, that's... Oh, yeah, Sweden's not having a good day. Let's see. Mm -hmm. They're attacking Denmark in the... In oh, it's England is attacking Orkney, which has brought Denmark against Sweden. That's... Good job, guys. You did it. R.I.P. Sweden, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. Can I get another idea? I have a mission to develop so. Prussia, but to be honest, these rewards kind of suck. Yeah. I feel like some of them are not that good. Let's see. 
We need to wait till Protestantism is available. And the third realm. Uh, that's kind of funny. I think, I don't know how big the Bishopric of Novgorod is, but I think once I annex them, I'll have like enough stuff. Kiev is a Trappist order as well. Yeah, that would make sense. Wait, a Trappist order? Yeah, they uh... got the beer. Because they have so many like grain provinces. And oh, that's what the beer name is. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah. All right. This is going well. I think it's just, you know, time to sort of sit back and let things happen. How is your mm -hmm. coalition? Oh, your coalition's like on. Yep, it's pretty much dissolved. You could expand into what, Volgast or something? Yep, yeah, I've been building a spy network to get some claims. Mm. I see, I see. Well, good stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. Mm-hmm. Let's see, what else should I get? Um, oh, improved war taxes, I'll get that. I really just need a larger navy so I can, like, contest in the Baltic. Wait a minute. Oh boy, it's- wait, is Protestantism not a thing yet? Uh, I don't know, I mean, I've been working hard taking every event possible to decrease the reform desire. <gasps> yeah, me too, but it, I'm surprised it doesn't exist yet, it's like... Pretty late. Well, it lets us keep our justified wars for a little while, so I'm, oh, I'm happy with that. Oh, they're only still. Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Sweden. R.I.P. Sweden. They got... Oh, Denmark is getting occupied by England, though. What is going on in this game? This is rather strange. I keep getting improved relations, guys. And I don't want improved relations. I just want... Like, Diplo Rep. Is that so much to ask for? I love Improved Relations guys. They're good, but like, that's not what I need right now. Because I want to integrate Novgorod faster. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright. I think I'll... Oh, well, I should be drilling. Yeah, I'm shocked how quickly I'm going to reach max professionalism in this game. I see, uh, I see they're not having a good time over there. Rip. R.I.P. R.I.P. Ooh, I just got a bunch of free money. That's nice. Wait a minute. Huh? Mm, what's up? It's just, okay, I have a general. Oh, okay, that was strange. I have a general... Okay, I had a general in, like, my generals tab that was a guy mm -hmm. who was dead. Like, he was what? my former heir, but he died. He never died, he just uh, went into hiding and became a, became a general. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. I love when this game just does weird shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, so much of it is, like, spaghetti goat based because of how of how many different things there are and because it's so old too it's like i'm sure if they redid it now they would do it completely differently because it's based on an engine from like what 15 years ago something like that yeah Hold on. yeah it's well the thing about the engine is they just keep on updating it for each new game mm -hmm. it's like the same engine fundamentally but yeah Let's see how am i on tech Oh, I'm actually a little behind. Could be doing better. Ooh, National Bank. That one's a good one. That is such a good event. Oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. I think I'm going to just take some loans out. I'll reduce that and I'll just take like two loans. Like three loans, just to get colonialism. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need another loan. Actually, no, I'm good on corruption. I'll just take that. 
And now I can get that and that. Beautiful. And now I have better units. Which is it? It's... Ah, that one. Do that. And then I get... Okay. I'm thinking that now I should probably go religious. Because I'm doing well on admin points. And mm -hmm. I would like... I would like to get the bonuses from that. Which is the better one? Padero or Colverin? I never know which one to go with for that. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I think morale pips are still slightly better. Yeah, that's kind of my my rationale with with that. Ooh, should I go secular? Wait, let's see. Okay, I end up uh, secularizing anyway. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Because well, if you want to be the the emperor, then you can mm -hmm. have to eventually. Yeah. I'm just uh, thinking about that uh, tier six reform. Mm. I let's see. I think I'll probably get strength and religious head. We do be absolute and absolutisming. Yeah, I just went ahead with partial secularization because it's like the only thing that does anything right now. <laughs> That's fair, yeah, especially at this point in the game. Mm-hmm. I really like how quickly I'm going through these reforms, though. I didn't expect a yeah. theocracy to send me through this. Wait, there's no music? Oh my god, has there really been no music for, like... Oh my god. It's because this one music refuses to loop. What is going on here? Oh, okay, so in OBS, uh, if you're loading, like, a file, there might be, like, a, a loop button you have to click? Yeah. Um, where is it? Maybe it's in properties? Yes, it is. Loop. That's so st that's so dumb. I'm sorry. Yeah, for some reason, this particular music track just does not um, play for me, like, even when I have monitoring on. I don't know why. I think it's just, like, a glitch. But so, because of that, I had no idea that the music wasn't on. Mm-hmm. It happens. All right. Yeah. And then... Now there's music. Woohoo. Rejoice, for there is music. Is it your regular BGM? I have a whole bunch of them, actually. I have a whole, like... That's what I really like about OBS, is that I can, like, name them. So I have mm -hmm. a whole bunch of them. This one is BGM Innocent. I also have Melancholic, Foolishness, Summer Bop, Sad Dramatic, Vibing, Cheery, sleepy, and piano. Nice. Which is very descriptive. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Diplo Rep Guy! Yes! Wonderful. I can't afford him. Alright, I guess I should take colonialism now. Oh. And I can take the next Miltech. I misunderstood that for a second. I thought you were going like exploration. I was like, huh? That's a new strategy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh that would be something colonial prussia yeah a little bit cursed no that is that is quite cursed happy music as we crusade against the infidels <laughs> yep as there should be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see I have a thing of improved relations with the Ottomans. It's pretty wax, that betrayal of the Catholic faith. Um, I'm going to do it. I want to be friends. Let's be friends, Ottomans. Well, they're walking into Hungary right now. Uh, Ottomans are attacking Serbia again. Hungary is never making it alive nope. out of this thing. Nope, it would not seem so. When does my truce with these guys end? Um, it is... Oh, not for a while. Eight more years. Alright, I suppose I'll expand into, like, Lithuania then. Just while I have a minute. I don't even need any help for this, because they're just so tiny now. Mm -hmm. Because I need to own Ruthenia. For some reason, I still don't hear music. What? It's playing. 
You may just be very quiet. Yeah, I'm sure chat can't even hear my music right now. Even though there's been music. Let me mess with that. There is music, I can hear it. Okay, so I don't know what's going on for this one guy, but they can't hear the music. There are a lot of one guys like that sometimes. Yeah, no, honestly. Oh, I'm losing money. Okay. What is this? I'll do, yeah, I'll do war taxes. Cool. Time to attack Livonia. Oh, hold on. I need a diplomat. <gasps> oh, yeah, there is music. Okay, there is music. I'm not going crazy. Maybe I am, but not for that reason. Different reason, at least. Yeah, yeah. What thousands of hours of EU4 does to a person. Yeah. Ooh. What is this? <gasps> um. I'm now um, a crusading kingdom. That's cool. And I've ended the third realm. Massive dub. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That's good. Um, where am I losing money? Where is all my money? Why do I have no money? Do you need money? Oh, it's just because I have the dip the diplo rep guy. Nah, I'm fine. Okay. It's just being kind of weird. So I got mad money now. I got crazy kind of money. Well, that's good. Ooh, I can get more, more missionaries. I can't afford to do anything with them. But I do have them. Actually, yes, I can. I'm making a lot of money now, for some reason. Every other month, it, like, oscillates between you're making so much money and you're making no money. How many rooms are there? At least four, I would say. Hmm, maybe five? Yeah. There was a useful charts video that said that there were five, like, real claimants to the Roman Emperor Empire. I... so at least, yeah, maybe five. Depends, do you count Napoleon as a Roman Emperor? No, not really. He did claim the legacy of Charlemagne, who was declared Roman Emperor, so... Yeah, but he was declared, like, Holy Roman Emperor, right? Well, he, he was, was like, he was just a Roman declared, Emperor, but... Yeah, he was just declared Roman Emperor. But did he hold enough of the Roman Empire? He did have room. He did have room. Yeah, that's that's true. I guess so. And by that logic, Napoleon, who also held Rome and claimed to be the successor of Charlemagne, should also be a Roman Emperor. Which means that his heir, who's like, I don't know, a stock person or something, is also the heir to Rome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, Admiral. That Admiral sucks. Okay. Let's see. Take that, 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 that. Oh no, my heir is dead. Oh no, what a shame. He sucked. One poor guy. What a tragedy. The tragedy. He's. Eh, I don't care. The real tragedy is my indifference. Sheesh. Right. Cool. Denmark has now rivaled me. You and what army? 7,000 men. Alright. I will- okay. I'm gonna give Kiev more stuff. Have some provinces. Have a coastline. The rest is for me. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually kind of enjoying the, the tall place style. It's, yeah, no, it's not bad. Like, they actually made it pretty good in this, in this, like, patch and region. Mm hmm I think the Baltic is well suited to it, because you're kind of hemmed in on all sides by, like, bigger powers. So you can't really do anything about it. Except, like, you know, going to war with Muscovy. Which yeah. is difficult. And since I'm kind of 
stuck here just existing in the HRE. Mm. I'm going to be doing so much devving. Yeah, I'm just waiting for stuff to happen as well. I need, um... I need more mana. Give me mana. Yeah, same. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm literally playing tall. <laughs> oh no, the Mogus is gone now. The Mogus is gone, sadly. But it, it what the hell is going on in Denmark? <laughs> Wait, what? What just <laughs> happened? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. It's because I think the English beat them in a war, but. They give them the wrong half of it. Okay. Well, they had all of Scanalund. Oh, Protestantism exists. Yay. No. Not yay. We must kill them. It gives me mission, though. <laughs> oh, okay. That kind of yay. Now we have heresy. Not yay. God darn heretics. When I'm emperor, I'm gonna have have to clean up this mess. These guys darn heretics. Oh, that's why I'm losing money, because I'm taking attrition in a random province in Russia. Good job, Oh, that's me. cool. How's that manpower feeling? Actually pretty good. Even with all that attrition? Yeah, weirdly. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, did I convert all of Novgorod? I did. That was fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. when do you get to mend the schism? Let's find out. Um, heal the schism. I just need... 40 provinces in Russia, so you know. I have 25 currently. Okay. I do need to, to get more, but... Otherwise, I'm doing pretty well. And for Ruthenian conversion, I need all provinces in Ruthenia. Mm-hmm. I need one province from um, Bohemia, Poland, which sucks because they're in the HRE. But they, I think it's Catholic, so it might count anyway. I think it counts. Maybe no, I don't think it counts. Never mind, because they're not. Allied what does the mission me. say? It says. All provinces in the Ruthenia region. Religion in province is Catholic. Province owner. Religion province is Catholic. One of the following must be okay. true. Is Livonian order, is a subject, or is allied. And they're not. They're a subject of an ally. Rip. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, so I will have so, to... So, but if I took it... <laughs> that would work. That would work. The problem is, yeah, Bohemia is still allied with the Ottomans. Yeah, that too. That too. Very cursed. Mm-hmm. They desire my provinces, too. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. I'm gonna seize land. I think I have another mission that's like, have 40% crown land. Mm -hmm. I may be confusing that for another thing. No, I don't think so. Let's see. I need 15 churches. Wait, Hess is no longer the emperor. I'm nope. stupid. They're not anymore. <laughs> I've been improving. I've been improving my trust. With them. <laughs> That's so tragic. <laughs> oh wait, we're now double intermarium because we cut from Baltic to Adriatic, and then also Baltic to Black. Yeah. Well, now we have like a real intermarium because like. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we're the two most integrated allies, of course. Yeah. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Yeah, I think I can ask Austria for the electorship in like two more months. Yay. That's good. W without having to spend 6,000 ducats. <laughs> That's, yeah. No, ideally not. Ottomans, do you want to be my friend? No? Okay. Let's see. Could you attack Landshut, maybe? Uh, where's Landshut? I don't even remember. Bavaria. Oh, right, yes. They're allies with, um... You quickly get claims border and claims and snake your way all the way down there. Oh, that's so cursed. 
Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that in time. Yeah, I don't. We have think a few so. years, and I'm. You have not really close enough. Months. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be fast enough for that. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. This is this is going quite well though. Just in case Hessa becomes Emperor again, I'm still gonna, you know, keep on giving them favors. Sweden yeah, everyone Protestant. likes Austria. Sweden is no Protestant. Kill them. Murder, yeah. Did they spawn a like, center? Mm, I don't think so. I think the center's okay. Oh, Ooh, England is. England, Protestant, okay, all right. The centers are in England, Bremen, and Dresden in Saxony. If it was all just in Germany, I could handle that, but... Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing is you could get rid of the Dresden one with the force convert thing once... Because they're, they're Protestant and it's their capital. Yeah. Same with Bremen. So you could get rid of two of those. Bremen, though, you would have to fight Austria because they're a free city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you could also just declare on, like, I don't know, something else. Like, Lubeck isn't a free city. That's true. Uh, they do have a massive trade league, though. That'll be annoying. <laughs> Oh yeah, they do. Scotland, what's that? An Ansbach, Bremen, Frankfurt, Hamburg, and Mulhouse. Yeesh. That is not good. That is not good. Sweden has truly fallen. This is true. Sweden's not doing too hot. Let's see. And then I'm most of the way through annexing Novgorod, which is good. Mm -hmm. Where will we get our meatballs from now? Ikea! The independent nation of Ikea. <laughs> Separate from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Glory to the Ikean Empire. They ride their blockages I... into battle. I wish I could spend favors just to like, get an opinion increase. You could do like the trust thing. Yeah, but the trust isn't gonna like increase their opinion of me, just like mm. trust, which is separate. Yeah. I guess well, I could scornfully insult Venice or something. That could work, yeah. Is there already a rival, so I might as well. Mm. Oh, I recently they... learned that Blahaj is not pronounced Blahaj, it's pronounced Blohai, which I don't like. Yeah, I like Blahaj better, sorry Swedes. <laughs> Sorry, Sweden, but your language is wrong. <laughs> allow me to allow me to yeah. change your language for you. I'll improve it. Don't worry. That's just I can not be how trusted. You yeah. <laughs> you are wrong. The kid is always able to throw up the barricades. Do you hear the people sing? They sing of jungle Skog. Pardon? It's a they're they're bear. Oh, uh, gotcha. It's called Junkle Skog and it's beautiful. My it's a very ruler. nice name. Yeah, my ruler has very, been in charge for very so elegant. Long. It's a good ruler though, right? Yeah, he's like the the five six something. Yeah, five. Yeah, my four, ruler five, just six. died. Oof. Now I have this garbage Ferdinand, dude in power. Ferdinand von Fiert. Mm-hmm. Poland suffering. They can't get to the other half of their territory with their <laughs> hurdles. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, and the, like even though they're Catholic zealots, they're not going to convert the Orthodox land. Nope. Beautiful. Poland Tragic, has honestly. Military access? No. <laughs> Over my dead body, Poland. It's not funny that way. I'll do okay. That. Requesting the electorate. Thank you very much, Austria. Based Austria. Ooh, I have to be not Catholic. Oh, never mind. I just need papal influence to become an archbishopric. Mm, that makes sense. Uh, 
and now that I'm an elector, I get prestige, being, devotion, being diplo Poland rep stuff. Is suffering. <laughs> yeah. The Polish experience, in a nutshell. Where are these rebels gonna pop out? Polotsk. I'll go over there. I'm gonna start improving with the electors, even though I can't become the emperor yet. Mm, that's fair. Oh, except Saxony is, uh, they're Protestant, which is illegal. Yeah, you could, um, you could go beat them up. I don't know if I can force convert them. Oh, maybe I can. I think uh, so. I don't have a CB on them, though, which is tragic. You could get your vassal to do it. That's true. I'll set my interests. Getting rid of that early is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before it spreads. Like a plague. Mm -hmm. I'm actually doing a, a paper on that right now about like the spread of Protestantism through the lens of contagion. Specifically huh. Anabaptists, because they're really weird. Are you aware of the Anabaptist uh, medieval death cult? Uh... If there's, if you ever have a question about my knowledge on religion, just assume I have none. So basically, in the 1530s, there was this, this group of Anabaptists who had these, um, they, these, these ideas. They were, forgetting the word, um, eschatological uh, Anabaptists, which means okay. that they thought that the end of, of the world was coming really soon. Um, okay. And so they were like, oh, I know, the end of the world is going to happen in in Munster, Germany. So they all went there, they kicked out the local bishop, which it was his town, like that was fully his place, and they kicked him out, okay. which is just funny. Um, and then, what is this? Sure. But then they, um, so the bishop was like laying siege to them because, you know, he wanted it back, of course. Mm -hmm. And the whole time they were doing, you know, it's the apocalypse, let's have a party type basically thing. Um, okay. So they also introduced polyamory, but only for like okay. the leader, Jan van Leiden, who was allowed to have everybody's wife. Um, <laughs> and he also got to eat okay. the good food. And eventually they were like, all right, we are losing this war. We need to do something. Uh, we need to stop doing this because it's not working. Um, and so their leader, Jan Matthias, basically walked out with a spear, chanting, like, um, psalms, and he got murdered. So then this nice. other guy, Jan van Leiden, became the leader, and then he continued that until eventually he was, you know, this, the city was captured because people were kind of sick of him, and they, like, mm -hmm. let the, let the bishop's troops in. They then, uh, tortured him to death and then put his body in a cage and hung it from the cathedral, and the cage is still there, actually. Oh. Yeah. A wild time all around. So if you go to Munster, uh, you can see the cage. Sounds like an average Tuesday in Munster. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We could get that. History has given rise. Yeah, no. History is a strange, strange time. Well, we're living in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I wish I wasn't living through history. <laughs> yeah, I saw a post of like, may you live in historically interesting times is like an insult. Yeah. An unfortunate realization. Yeah. <laughs> there is no such thing as the end of history. Fukuyama, you motherfucker. No. Nah. I would like to be living in the end of history. It'd be cool if things were not happening all the time. <laughs> but alas, yeah. they continue to happen. Mm -hmm. Actually, can I lower my stuff? I can't really. I can lower a few. That sucks. Why do I have no money? Where is my money? Where did my money go? Oh. Okay. That's, Where'd it go? I'm not sure. 
Who isn't paying? Oh, it's Riga! Because they're not a march. Because they're a march. Oh. That's dumb. I'm gonna revoke their march. Wait, did Riga just build a shipyard? I think they might have. That's... Why are you doing that? That's Riga. one of the things you don't need, right? No, it's not. Riga. You just ruined everything. How could you? I'm tempted to just annex them, honestly. Like, they're they're not doing what I want them to do. They're bringing me in, like, what? A tiny amount of money? It's not worth it. Valid. Oh, that all tapped. Um... I have to wait 10 years, but then I can. But yeah, that's good. I'm almost done annexing Novgorod as well. So I have that. And that will be very, very big. And also it's Catholic, which is very nice. Very nice. Orthodoxy is just like a tiny little heresy on the borders. And in like Transylvania. Yeah, it's a little bit in uh, mm -hmm. Podolia, Moldavia, mm -hmm. Ruthenia. Yeah. But we'll fix that soon enough. Yes. <laughs> What's Crimea doing? Oh, they have pretenders. What the? Why does Crimea have a truce with Ming? Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to know. What were they up to? What were they cooking? Yeah, what is what is also what is Ming up to? Because that terrifies me. If Ming is that far west this early, that is scary. Yeah, somebody in chat said the past is a different country. They do things differently there. Yeah, exactly. It is a different country. Mm-hmm. The formation of the mo of the uh, Prussian monarchy. Ooh. Secularization time. Ooh. -hoo. Your leader is Lithuanian, uh... also. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, monarchy. Uh, I just changed all my things, and I do get militarization, Wait, even though I'm not... Your heir stays the same, though, <laughs> even though he's not the son of the previous guy. That's so funny. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. Very well, then. I'll have to pick all my new reforms. Uh... Yeah, no more beer. Too high Tragic. taxes? I can't hear you! La la la. Actually, do I have... Oh, I don't have this stated. Could state that. That's not really worth it, though. Especially oh, right, I forget I lose a lot of governing capacity. Damn it. Yeah. No, that sucks. That's alright, though. Mm hmm This is going quite well, though, I will say. Oh! No! Wait. My leader is 69 and still alive. Three separate heirs have died. Let's go. 445 heir. That is so good. And liberty, desire, and subjects as his, like, thing. I keep winning. I just keep winning. It just works. Just as, never stop winning. As the great Todd of Howard once said, it just works. I should play Skyrim on stream sometime. That game is so Yeah, lovely. I've been thinking about that before. Yeah, it's Skyrim or, or Kingdom Come Deliverance, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they're, they're both the same genre of buggy first-person hack and slash. Except one is set in a mythical land unknown to most people of this realm. And the other is set in Skyrim. Mm. <laughs> Skyrim, but every time you die, you add a random safe for work mod. Huh. Yeah, I think that's a good, that's an important qualifier. Oh God. That's a very important qualifier there, because I feel like if you didn't, that would be very, very quickly uh, a problem. Oh, speaking of problems, if you ever do play CK3 on stream, keep in mind that by default it has nudity enabled. Oh, okay, you I will... probably fix that, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing to know. <laughs> Did you run into that? 
Um, I remember that I had it enabled, but not, you know, it wasn't like nothing happened. I just like what at one point I'm like, oh yeah, wait, wait a second. Well, Forgot about that. Here's my question though. Why is there nudity in CK3? Like what the hell is going on? Atomists. Oh yeah. I remember yeah. that. That's, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I, I I know it won't do anything, but I am tempted to do the strength and religious head just because I don't really care for tolerance of heathens and heretics, like, at all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do anything, but uh, who cares? <laughs> I've been pressed, though, about this guy. Like, he's four, six, four, five, six, and he's 70 now. Like, how has he lived so long? He simply refuses to die. Grand Crusader Egg the Great Vondermark. Good, good man. Good man. Uh oh. I may have uh, made a little mis. Uh oh. I now have dominance of the clergy. Dude. That's pretty. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. I may have messed up a little. Hmm. Oh wait, no, I don't. It stopped. Oh wait, no, it is. Oh, it's just, they're loyal, so they're it's not progressing. Yeah, that's good. It's very strange, but okay. Sure, why Makes not? Makes it a, a little harder to take land back, though, unfortunately. Yeah, but I'm good. I'm at 39%, so I'm not in any particular need for that. Mm-hmm. Long live Egg the Great. Praise be. Praise be. <laughs> And I'm almost done annexing Novgorod. Let's see, it'll be... Oh, literally this by the end of the year. I should have it. That'll be so cool. I wonder who has the largest army right now. Probably That's Ming still. That's a good question. Let's check. Armies... Mamlocks. Oh. Well, I can't hmm. see Ming, so... Yeah, I can't see Ming either. So they may still have it. Yeah, they probably do. But as far as we know, oh, Ming, is, Ming is actually quite down on the on the list now. Oh well, that makes sense. Yeah, but they haven't like exploded yet. Yeah, after we're done, I do want to like check out the save. I'm very curious what's going on in the rest of the world. Mm hmm. Also, we, for some reason, we can see the new world, or at least I can. I can too, yeah. I think it's just because of like the sharing. Sweden yeah, just is... natural spread in the tech group. Sweden is dying. They have okay. Rip. They have troops now, but they also have rebels, and the rebels are, I think bigger. I hope the rebels are Catholic. They are based. Yay! I don't think they're going to win though. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, no, probably not. But it, it is funny that they're just absolutely getting destroyed. Mm hmm I saw there were also Finnish Separatists. I'm not sure if they're still around anymore, though. Oh, and there's Rebels. Uh, I just see a bunch of Particularists. Yeah, I think they might have taken them out. And then they've got the, the I think, Danish Separatists? Or Catholic Zealots down in yeah. Skainland. <laughs> And then the center is just like converting <laughs> those provinces back. This is oh terrible. Oh my god, that's so funny. The army of surplus labor. Yeah. That's weird. This game do be strange. Ooh, and Very good game though. Yeah, so so good, but so weird. We love a buggy mess. E4 used to be even more of a buggy mess. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, let's go. Oh, I, are you kidding? Did I? Okay, I did it. I didn't do the, I didn't mess up horribly. Oof. Okay. But yes. You integrated Novgorod. I did do that. Yeah, I'm going to now state all of this. Beautiful. Let's do Novgorod and South Karelia. Oh, I do have to pour that. And then I will do Arkhangelsk. 
and that, and yeah, that. Actually, we can pause. I don't need to be paused for this. And oh, I do have North Karelia as well. I could do that. Where is that? Here it is. Oh, my my guy died. Rip. <laughs> But I have a 662 air now as well. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> oh, and I have a looming disaster. Uh, let's see. But it's well, only maybe I'll try... Uh... Go ahead. It's only because I'm at peace. And also, clergy is a little unhappy with me. But that's alright. We can make them happier. We'll give them stuff. Actually, I think it... Hmm. I'm about to do a little bit of trolling. Yep. We'll do that. There. That's beautiful. Cool. Doing customary amounts of trolling. <laughs> I just uh I just asked Hungary to put my heir on their on their throne. That's that's funny. And not oh. my heir, but uh, my dynasty as their heir. Would you like to attack Muscovy again? Uh, I would be delighted to. Yeah, let's do it. Do I have any reconquest? It actually. I'm would... just gonna bring one army over, though. Yeah, that's fair. I'll go for Piskov because I want that. Actually, no, I'll go for um, I'll go for Smolensk. I think that's probably the better idea. Where is it? Smolensk. Here it is. Smolensk. Attack. And away Should probably give my armies more artillery now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, me too, but I'm kind of not good at that. We're we I think we outtech them. Yeah. So we're good, yeah, but I, I agree, I, I need to do that too. I'm gonna go siege Moscow. <laughs> Austria just asked me to put an heir of their dynasty on my throne. Ah, oh, hell no. <laughs> just <laughs> absolutely do like a ro not. rotating heirs. Oh, that'd be terrible. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, Austria's asking me to help them against Venice and Castile, which I guess is fine. So I'm not going to do anything, but, you know, good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah, best of luck to them. Yeah, that's really none of my business. Meanwhile, you know, I'm sieging down Moscow. They had a food shortage. Yay! Love food shortages. Woohoo! Oh, and I got a stability for free. Wow, I already sieged Polotsk. That was fast. Yeah, they're not doing too hot. I... I don't think. Seeing the orthodoxy makes me s disappearing makes me smile. <laughs> uh. I like also how it's moving east because they're converting stuff, so it's just slowly migrating. Eventually we'll have orthodox China. Yeah. That is the goal, isn't it? No, it needs to be Catholic China. Does China have, in the new update, do they have anything with like Christianity? That's a good question. I actually don't know. Because mm. they might, but I'm not. I'm not sure. They did give Ming like a whole, whole mission tree, I think. Yeah, they did. It looks really cool. I don't actually remember what's in that. I'll have to go and uh, take a look at that again. Yeah. Tech. I love tech. I love technology. Huge fan of improvements. We are techno priests. <laughs> are you a, uh, a warhammer enjoyer? No. <laughs> okay, because techno priests just reminded me. I'm like, yeah, that's like a warhammer oh, thing. Actually, I remember a long time ago, I did actually try to get into warhammer and I got some necrons. But I didn't get into it very much. And then I, I don't know, I just stopped playing it. So I just have like... I don't know, Necrons in a box somewhere. 
Mm -hmm. I never really got into it. Uh, I just like, I think it was like a month ago, maybe I started watching, uh, sort of watching like a lower playlist on YouTube that had like 80 hours of Warhammer lore. And I got like maybe 20 hours into it. Whoa, that is a lot. Yeah, I'm... I don't even care that much about Warhammer, it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. That's good, that's a... that is a lot. <laughs> that is quite That is a lot. lot. It's maybe a little bit, a little bit too much of a, of a time investment. Mm -hmm. I'm a little learning about Warhammer over lore. here, because they are kind of circling me in a way that I don't like. Like sharks. Look at them, like they're literally just going around. I can't even like reach you that well, I don't think. Oh, is no, this fort that I'm fine. sieging? They're now... Now they don't care. Okay. Sweden, okay. Sweden, please leave. Just, just go. Like, you have problems that you're dealing with. I, please just go away. Sweden, I'm just sad. Oh, and they rivaled me immediately. Oh. <laughs> and their war is over. I'm so proud of them for ending their war with themselves. I think I need to get more cannons, honestly. Someone in chat says they don't think there's anything for uh, for Christianity for Ming. Darn. That would be so interesting. Because, like, I know, you that know... That would like, be. There were historically very important Chinese Christians, like uh, Sun Yat-sen. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did have the whole war over... Yeah. Over that, uh, the brother of Jesus. Theory, right? That, yeah, that, it is. It's that? fantastic. The I'm Heavenly so Kingdom. I'm so curious about Vicky 3, but I just bought, like, CK3, so I do not have the money to do that. But maybe once it's playable. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the recent update for Vic 3 dropped, like, I don't know, four days ago or something, and yeah. it makes it a lot better. Yeah, no, I saw that. I think I saw Leith's video on that. It looked pretty good, but I don't know. I'm still a little, little skeptical, especially with the army stuff. That's still, like... Kind of silly. Yeah, it, it, big improvements though on that front as well. I just, mm. uh, there's still a ways to go for it. Mm. Alright. Yeah, after this war is, is done, you want to like wrap up for the for the day? Because this is going Yeah, that'd be a good cool. idea. And also because, yeah, I, I would like to, to eat food at some point. That's a good idea. I should probably do that too. I actually didn't eat breakfast. Oh no. It's like 3 p.m. now. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I have, I have actually, I don't know if, I, I think I said this on stream, but uh, recently I ran out of like instant ramen and I really like instant ramen, uh, even like not cooked. Like I like to just eat it like raw. Like, like raw? Yeah. Cause it's oh, like, it's like okay. chips. It's really good. Okay. It's a little cursed, but it's very tasty. So, you know, it's whatever. But so I like to do that. Um, but I ran out and I messaged my mom and I was like, I ran out. Because, you know, I brought it up here with me last time I was in the city, um, where, where I live. Mm -hmm. And so, she was just like, yeah, okay, I'll send you some more. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm not going to turn down free food, I'm a college student. Mm -hmm. And then, I get a package in the mail a few days later, and it's for me, and it's, like, six pounds. And I, like, lug it back to my dorm. And I'm like, what the hell is in this thing? What did I order? And I open it, and it's like a pa like a pallet of ramen packages. So now I have like <laughs> 20 of them. <laughs> well, now you won't run out. I don't even have anywhere to put them, so they're just sitting on like my desk. Perfect. Beautiful. I'll get like insulation. Like, you know those, you know those videos where they like make like a sink out of ramen? I'll just oh, make please. like insulation <laughs> yeah. out of ramen. <laughs> And put them up on your walls to like mm -hmm. help with sound reduction. Exactly, exactly. They have the right architecture, the right shape <laughs> they to do. trap sound. They do though. Oh my god, my soundproofing setup is super cursed though. I have a I have like a fluffy bathrobe that I hang up behind me in front of my fridge to kind of muffle that sound, and then I have like a fluffy blanket that I hang up in front of my door to muffle sound from there. Yeah, I don't even have a noise suppression <laughs> set up. Which, like, would have made a lot more sense back when I had, like, you know, my old mic was, like, 50 bucks and it wasn't that yeah, great. And yeah. even then, I didn't do anything. You know, that's... Ooh. 
New age. Oh, I gotta get rid of war taxes. Yep. And now I'm losing 12 a month. What the hell? Let's go. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, Blasphemy Act. Yes, yeah, sure. I love Blasphemy. <laughs> Are they, were they palatable? Yeah, they're palatable. It's good stuff. It's ramen. That's also why I was cooking eggs in the middle of the night. Because I wanted to, to make, like, ramen eggs. Ramen is good. It, it's If done well, it is a delicacy. It is, and it's like 60 cents per package. Yeah, no, that's the nice part. When you're a college student, you can't really be picky about that kind of thing. I'm certain it'll probably cause, like, I don't know, long-term issues like this. It cannot be good for you. Oh no, there's 60 no way. 60 cent ramen. No, like, no. That's gotta be like, that's gotta be like sawdust filler or something, I don't know. Oh, totally, yeah, there's there's definitely like awful stuff in there. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the war because I can get 100 already. Okay. And I will get a coalition of just Mo Muscovy. And now I own Moscow. Flippy. Let's go. And I'm very overextended though. How overextended? Like 200? No, only 80. Okay. Yeah, no. Not, not not that much, but still. More than I would like. But I do have Moscow now, which is very nice. I'm going to, um... I'm going to consolidate or concentrate development. <laughs> Just of Moscow. Hmm. Get fucked. Just from that one city? Yeah. Just because, you know, they... It's... It's... It's deserved. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, only... Only 63. Woohoo! Alright. That's good, though. That's, uh, very good. I need to clean up my forts, though, because I have, like, way too many, and they're not in, like, places they should be. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to figure out, like, what the best fort spots would be. Yeah. I've I built, think... like, two, maybe? I think. The problem is there's no good terrain for forts over here. Like, it's all forests at best. I mean, that's the best you're gonna get. Forest, uh, river crossing. Mm-hmm. That's basically a mountain right there. <laughs> the borders are kind of bad. I'm gonna make them worse, alright? Just because somebody, somebody said in chat that the borders are kind of bad. I'm gonna make them worse just because of that. But yeah. Valid. Let's see. I think I can get the next government reform in like a minute as well. Which is very nice. Good stuff all around. Yeah, I'm about to integrate Brandenburg finally. Mm, that's good. And I will turn down all of my autonomy too. Oh geez, wow, you took so much dev in that war. <laughs> you took insane development, not your sixth greatest power. I am? Oh, nice. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> you went from, like, no great power to sixth in, like, one war. I'm massive. Huge. <laughs> no, you're right, though. You were right, though, like, when you said that, that Livonia is super powerful and nobody realizes it. Yeah, they're really good. I like mm -hmm. playing Livonia. Yeah. The Crusader Path. I don't- I haven't really tried the other path. Yeah, the other path is alright. It has, like, colonial missions, but it's not that good, I would say, because they only get, like, it's only, like, three or four in, like, a line. But it's actually based on real history. Uh, the Livonian Order, um, or I think it was actually Kurland at that time, they colonized mm -hmm. the island of Tobago, of Trinidad and Tobago, as well as, um, the Gambia. In Africa. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cursed. And then they experienced economic hardship, so they were like, "No, thank you," and they sold them to the British. Fair. Right. Oh, did I just lose a bunch of force limit? Uh, no, I gained a bunch of men. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I just oh right, because I just annexed Brandenburg. Nice. All right, want to call it here? Uh, good. sure, if you give me just a little second here, just so sure. I can clean up this mess and not forget about it next time. <laughs> okay, things are looking good. Mm hmm Yeah. I'll wait right. till the month tick, so I can get the this one last thing coring. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
actually, I'm gonna reduce autonomy. Wait, I can't, because I'm at war. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna leave the war and then do that. Okay, and reduce autonomy. Okay, you're good to save. Woohoo. I'm reducing autonomy too. I missed one. All right. I'm number eight, great power. You're number six. Yeah. Uh, let's check out the economies too and see how we're doing. Yeah, let's see. What tab is the economy? Income comparison. Yeah. I am below Tunisia or Tunis. Well, we, we, we can work on that. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of land. It's just mostly empty and I need to like redo it a bit. Yeah. yeah, it just needs a little bit of uh, autonomy creek. reduction. I'm below Creek. Below Creek? No, yeah. there's no way. They have 31, I have 24. Well, they have spoils of war. It's not real money. Make <laughs> right. money. And then you're, you're doing pretty well. You're at 55.71. That's pretty good. I think this was very successful. So, yeah. It's been a very, very good uh, pass. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we only played how long for the first time? Like, two hours 15 years yeah and then we just went ahead and played like another 40 or something yeah. today so that was really good no we played a while um all right i want to check out i'm gonna go exit to menu i want to see what the rest of the world looks like though yeah i'll do that too i'll just make a uh backup just in case mm -hmm. oh the bot on my server is not working I need to figure out how to make it so that it auto, like, says that I'm streaming. Yeah, I just, like, manually at my Discord because uh, yeah. I, I used to have a really big problem with um, my stream would, like, connect and then disconnect and then try to re mm. restream itself. That's weird. Yeah, I have I have a mod that just does that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mathhead. Or Matt Lion or whatever. I think he changed it, too. How old is Clausewitz engine? I need to know. Probably since like EU3. I mean, they've just been improving it for like more than a decade. Like even the new stuff uses Clausewitz. 2007. 2007. Jesus. Oh my god. Damn. That is ancient. That is. Was that 16 years? Yeah, 16 years. Wait, if, is that? If. Yeah, it is. Klaus, yeah, it is. If That's Klauswitz, crazy. If Clausewitz was a person, they would be in high school. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, if, yes. if it ain't broke. <laughs> there is a Discord server. It is in the description. All right. Let me check out. I want to see what the rest of the world looks like. Yeah, same. Oh, Matillion? I don't know. Let's see. How is how, what is going on in Asia? Oh my God! Ming has decided to just go fully like Western protectorate. They are all the way up to like like Kazakhstan. Huh. And Never seen a Ming this aggressive before. And Manchuria. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Malacca pretty aggressive too. Bengal's doing well. Oh, Ethiopia is big. What religion are they? Coptic. Mm hmm And then, let's see, Congo, Kilwa. Nothing too out of the ordinary, other than, like, weird Europe stuff. Yeah, that is a really big Ming. Oh, Portuguese Caribbean, of course. Castilian Brazil. Yeah, it looks pretty standard. Oh, Portuguese Mexico. Portugal's being very colonial. Oh my god, wait. Oh, yeah. Denmark has Canada provinces. Yeah, because Norway was colonizing them and then they just integrated oh, Norway. I, just, I didn't notice that, yeah. Britain has Iceland. Oh my god, why is why are the Timurids so long? <laughs> well, I know they start with cores in, in a gem, so they took those for sure, but then I guess they, they lost Transoxiana. But why are they going east? Mughals, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's not Mughals though, that's like Tibet. <laughs> well, they're, they, they missed. They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they went a little too north. There's like, I know there's a gold province around here, but I don't think they're getting it. 
Now the gold province is in uh, Kukwa, in the uh, in Yarkand. Yeah. So okay. they missed it entirely, or they haven't gotten it yet. That's good job, guys. They'll have to fight Ming for it. I'm I'm very I'm very I like how the, it kind of looks actually like they're doing like a high five or something or like a low five like Ming is the like moving down and Timurids is like the hand moving up. <laughs> high five. <laughs> I guess so. That's funny. All right, but yeah, that's that's definitely pretty good. Uzbek I think also is going to go long because it's attacking Mongolia right now, so. A lot of mm -hmm. weird long Asian powers. Um, Japan's doing the, the devs really low in there, right? So they just take like mm -hmm. a billion provinces in one yeah. war. Yeah, Ashikaga united Japan. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's a, this is probably the most stable Japan I've seen in a while. Yeah, I'm surprised Mamluks haven't like had any wars with Ottomans though. That's kind of weird. Good for us, but it's kind of weird. And then mm -hmm. we have Mega France. This is like Napoleon's, like, dream. Giga Chad France. Mm -hmm. What did they call those? The natural borders of France or something? Yeah. The Po Valley. From the Po to the Rhine. The Pyrenees. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're missing a little bit in the north there, though. Yeah, but they'll, they'll get that soon, I'm sure. Right, yeah, so. probably. This has been very successful. Um. So, yeah. And we both need to eat. So, let's... Yeah. Uh, Let's go do that. But thank you for joining me today again. We should definitely continue this, though, because it's going Yeah, really we well. should, for sure. Mm -hmm. but, Maybe yeah. a little bit after uh, the projects are yeah, <laughs> out of the way. Good, good luck with that. Uh, yeah, do thank you. Have any, you. Do you have any announcements or anything? Uh, not really. Um, there wasn't a video today, because there'll be a video next Sunday, because mm. school is kicking my butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with that. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Have fun, and uh, bye. See ya. All right. So, I will now go to uh, here. Okay. Uh, well, that was fun. So, let's see. Once again, I will say that I have my, my, my new model debut. It should be the first on, on April 1st. So, be by then. Um, that's just gonna be like a normal day, but I am gonna be like debuting the model at the beginning of that. So have fun there. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. If you're not subscribed to Carbit, make sure to subscribe to him too, cause he's really cool. And uh, yeah, have a lovely, lovely day. Um, and I'm gonna go eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Anyway, goodbye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where's my ending screen?